there. It's Free Talk Live. You may take control of the airwaves here. Bring up whatever is on your mind at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Joining you tonight, it's Ian here. Derek J. And Mark. And don't forget, you can join us online anytime at freetalklive.com. So please do that and enjoy the features that you'll find there. A lot of those talk show hosts want to charge you for accessing their sites Ours is free. So once again, enjoy it. Freetalklive.com. And dial in and join us here. You can bring up anything. I've got, there's so much in the news right now that I think is worth talking about. Inevitably, we'll be disappointed because we won't get to it all uh, here tonight. There's headline, and it's really not worth digging into, but Ross Ulbricht has officially filed the appeal in his case. As you know, Ross was the man convicted of running the Silk Road, the world's most infamous underground uh, black market site wherein all manner of drugs and fake identifications and hacking tools and things like that could be found. Uh, He's now been sentenced to life in prison. And there's a a lot, obviously, that can be said about that case. We covered it in depth here on Free Talk Live. And he has filed the appeal in the case. I haven't read the appeal. The article over at Forbes and, you know, the other ones just basically are just a summary of the case and then announcing that he's appealing. So there's really nothing new uh, there. I suspect the fact that two police officers uh, were indicted on uh, corruption charges and a variety of other charges um, it, in conjunction with his case is probably going to be chief among them. I suspect so as well. And we'll keep our eyes on the case as it continues to develop. But it, it makes me, uh, you know, it made me want to talk a little bit more about prohibition because, well, it's. A big issue, I think, in uh, for me, and one of the things that's most frustrating about prohibition is all the misinformation, the lies that are put out there about uh, the various different products that are made illegal. So whether it's cannabis, which is being discussed at the New Hampshire State House in a Senate hearing last week, where prohibitionist senators were just lying, just you know, giving out obvious min- misinformation, or at least what's obvious to us, claiming that one senator claiming she uh, she had heard a story about someone who almost died from smoking keef, and keef is uh, sort of like a concentrated form of cannabis, which uh, is a that ridiculous That sounds like a very claim. scientific claim. Yeah, it's a ridiculous well, claim. I, so I wonder about claims like this. Um, if you had some kind of severe form of asthma, I suppose smoking marijuana could bring on an attack that might uh, you know cause you to die. The thing is, is that um, if you consider how many people die from the most bizarre things in the world, you know, falling coconuts, mm. shark attacks, um, I, you know, just kind of bizarre things out there. More Cows kill more people in America than marijuana does by a big, long stretch. Cows. It, oh, yeah. Cows are dangerous. Like trampling? Yeah. Sure. You, you, get, you get killed. Okay. Yeah. You know, yeah, <laughs> um, that's that's how that is. Um, cows kill people, and when you when you can make sort of this ludicrous comparison, because cows are cows cows are funny, and people don't think of them as dangerous, but cows kill far more people than even sharks do. So uh, that's that's the best way to compare this. Is marijuana is far less deadly than cows. Twenty two people are killed in the U.S. every year from these seemingly docile creatures. There you go. Cow. <laughs> Now, uh, I mean, if you figure every way that a person might die from ingesting marijuana, including sort of driving while stoned, well, the first time I was stoned, I drove, and it was a bad, bad, bad move on my part, and, um, you know, I almost did get into an accident. Fortunately, I had somebody along with me who was a little more experienced, and this was back when I was 16 years old, and yep. I would never repeat that. So, you know, I'm just saying... I get where these people are coming from. It's just a bunch of scare tactics. Yeah. Let's talk about how many people die every year from the in- consumption of alcohol. So it's bad enough when you've got politicians who are speaking pretty much in a room to themselves. Luckily, we did have a video camera there or two to capture uh, those moments. And I did post that full video, by the way, for anybody who wants to see what that hearing was like. It's about an hour long. You can go see that over at freekeen.com. But it's bad enough having politicians talking to themselves in a room somewhere It's much worse uh, when—and by the way, those politicians are, of course, just repeating what the police have told them, and much of that is lies. Uh, But it's worse when the mainstream media gets into the act, and they will repeat the lies the police told them or do shoddy investigations as the folks over at NH1.com have done. Now, normally I appreciate NH1 and the coverage— that they uh, they've given some of the activists up here. They're, it's kind of like a more of an independent news media company. 
Cool. You know, there aren't very many news media outlets in New Hampshire. There's WMUR, which is the main ABC News affiliate. That's the only like triple letter kind of Fox ABC at that level Mm -hmm. of an affiliate in the state. There's WBIN TV, which has its own news division, and that's related to NH1.com. Paul Miller is reporting here, and he this is claimed in the headline to be NH1 News Investigates, meaning that it's supposedly an investigative report. Hallucinogenic high. Drug DMT popping up in New Hampshire. (gasps) Manchester, an ancient drug, has made its way to the Granite State, and manufacturers are now mixing it with household products. Well, if it's ancient, it can't be that bad. (laughs) Household products? Uh, this is news to me. That sound that bad are, either. Well, this is news to me that people are mixing DMT with household products. I'm not denying it. I haven't done that level of uh, of research into it. I'm, I am familiar with DMT, having no, used it. I don't. I don't think that's what's happening. I think if right from the get go, this author is a little confused. It sounds about, ridiculous. Yeah, because I think that uh, people will extract DMT using household products. So okay. you know, DMT is found in almost every living thing, <laughs> including the grass in your front lawn. It's true. But uh, you can. Um, extract this chemical this this stuff using common household products so i think that's probably where he's uh, coming from but he's just confused yeah i think you're absolutely right on that but I, I would be interested in learning more about where he got that information and of course there's no citations in here so it's hard to really it must be hard for idea. like even an investigative journalist who wants to do a good job during prohibition it just must be impossible to find someone good who's knowledgeable and will speak on it openly with a journalist i good mean it's point. like uh, you're really selling yourself out there. The mixture could not only be dangerous, but deadly. Experts really? say the... Pr- <laughs> I don't... <laughs> uh, citation needed? Yeah, I'd like to also know, uh, have there been any deaths as of a, or as a result of smoking or vaporizing DMT? I I'm not saying that it's impossible. So. You know, maybe somebody jumped out of a window or something like that. That uh, is, I think that is impossible on a DMT trip. I don't think it's possible to even move out of a window that way. I mean, jumping out of a window I, after you do something, you can't attribute it... To the something. Know. Yeah, yeah. Like, like oh, the person could man be crazy. eats ice cream and jumps out window. You can't say it's the ice cream. It's like I'm going to go ahead and say that incap- it, yeah, if, but if you more- jump out of a window within five minutes of consuming DMT, it is your fault for consuming the DMT. That's yeah. what I'm going to say. But it's not possible. It's the one of those kinds of I drugs. I mean, but I'm it, not claiming it's possible or not. I, I wouldn't know. I tend it's, to agree you're with more you. Sedate. Well, I tend not- to I tend to agree with you, Derek J. But you know, people do respond to drugs differently. Maybe mm-hmm. people with uh, a tendency to psychosis or something like that. I do know somebody who uh, smoked some DMT and had a very bad trip. So, but was he know. able to move around? I don't know. I wasn't no. there for it. You you <laughs> sit in one place. You're not jumping out windows. Anyway, what's but, the article? But all that said. Regardless of your beliefs about DMT and whether yeah. whether or not you would do something like that, if you're going to use DMT, you really should have a sitter with you. You, yeah. you should have somebody there who's not on DMT at the yeah. moment Absolutely. just to make sure that something undesirable doesn't happen. I mean, it could be yeah. as simple as you drop a, a, something that's lit uh, onto a couch yeah. and set yeah. the house on fire. So you know, good reason. There are good reasons to have somebody there who's, Absolutely. Uh, who's a sitter. Uh, it's called DMT. Or N-N-Dimethyltryptamine. And it's a psychedelic compound of the tryptamine family. Sounds like he pulled that one from Wikipedia. Experts say (laughs) the problem is skyrocketing here in New Hampshire, and it's this hallucinogenic high that users can't get enough of. Awesome. Now, that also also has not been my experience with DMT. Uh, It's not that uh, when you smoke or consume DMT in some way that you can't get enough, like crack cocaine. You've got to go out and get more and more and more DMT. No, I would say (laughs) of all the drugs that I've tried, and I've tried lots of recreational drugs, DMT is probably the least... where it has that effect the least, you know, like so a lot of drugs, I enjoy them and I'm like, I want to do that again right away. With DMT, it's like, I can wait a while. That, that was, was nice. a very pleasant experience, yes. but I'm going to wait for a while to we, do that again. We've got more because the propaganda has just begun here. It's a relatively short piece at NH1.com. But it's all wrong. But the more ridiculous, <laughs> uh, it will become more ridiculous as it goes on. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. This is Free Talk Live. 
I'm Steve Sidkowski, a former Wall Street insider. I'm holding a book that will show you investing strategies which could help you earn the kind of money you've always dreamed about. And right now, I'm giving this book away for free. So who needs to read it? If you're in the middle of your career and worry you'll never have enough money to retire, you need to read this book. If you're already retired and your income isn't enough, you need to read this book. And if you don't want to be selling burgers at 80, you need to read this free book. It includes the strategy I use to make a 72% profit on a trade where the stock only moved 12%. You'll need at least a million dollars to ever fully retire. If you're behind on that goal, you really need to read Trade Like the Pros. And you can for free by calling 1-800-944-5836. Skeptical that it will deliver results? It's a free book, so what do you have to lose? Find out how at 1-800-944-5836. 1-800-944-5836. Honey, it's time for dinner. What are you doing over there on your computer? I'm shopping for a new wallet. Mine is falling apart. Hey, did you know there's a company called ID Stronghold that makes shielded wallets to prevent electronic pickpocketing? Oh, I didn't realize there was such a thing as electronic pickpocketing. What is that? Well, apparently, many of the new credit and debit cards being issued have radio chips inside them called RFID that transmit our banking information to card readers when we pay. Unfortunately, a bad guy can also get one of these readers and go around the city scanning people, collecting their credit card numbers and personal information without us knowing it. Wow, that sounds scary. Since you're getting a new wallet anyway, you should definitely get an ID Stronghold shielded wallet. Are they more expensive? No. In fact, I can get a shielded leather wallet from IDStronghold.com for the same price or less than regular unshielded wallets from other stores. Sounds great. My wallet isn't falling apart yet, but let me pick one out too. I want to be protected, and these wallets at IDStronghold.com look fantastic. You know how annoying it is when someone keeps stopping mid-sentence? as though he or she were asking you a series of questions? Avoid doing that. It sounds unnervingly tentative, and it imposes upon the listener to help you complete the thought. And if you're a job seeker, this alone could be a deal killer. An effective communicator sounds more confident. Complete the thought. Avoid making the listener impatient. With money and attention so scarce now, Effective communication skills have never been more important. Cutting through the clutter rather than blending into the blah, blah, blah will help you connect better no matter what the conversation. For more tips, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. Survivalspeech.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm. We are back with more Free Talk Live. Plenty of time for you to share your thoughts with us here. We'll also continue the silly, ridiculous, outrageous, prohibitionist article uh, about DMT here in moments. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. I wanted to tell you that we have uh, a big announcement. SpendBitcoins.com is up for sale. So uh, you're familiar with the site, Ian? Yeah. Don't we know the owner of that site? Yes, we do. Okay. We certainly do. Um, well, he is putting it up for sale. It is... Uh, Did it shut down? It's Back not shut it's, down. It's open right it's now. I just went... 
Went it there. Re- it looks beautiful. Yeah. It repurposed, I think, is probably the best way to describe it. Because it used to sell stuff, uh, just various different computer parts and things like that, right? Well, what they did mostly was, uh, no, you're talking about uh, BitcoinStore.com. Oh, Okay, I'm not familiar with Spend Bitcoin. Yeah, so. Spend Bitcoin is where you could go and basically do Amazon shopping for Bitcoin. If you remember, this was one of the first. This was like the first site that would allow you to do any sort of transition between Bitcoin and, and U.S. dollars. Um, they repurposed, and now they're they are one of the oldest and largest Bitcoin merchant directories, and they're for sale. Hmm. But they've got over ten thousand Bitcoin accepting merchants listed. Wow. Okay. Um, they're number one on Google for search terms such as "Where can I." Spend bitcoins. Yep, makes sense. Um, sell bitcoins, sell ads, sell premium listings. The world's your oyster with spend bitcoins. You go to spendbitcoins.com slash sale and you can bid on it. It's spendbitcoins.com slash sale. Is this it a is, public auction? This is an auction on uh, Flippa. Uh, Flippa is the name of the uh, the organization that's doing it. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean this is a this is a big deal. So if you go in, you be prepared that you're going to do something with this uh, the site. This is a business. It's way more than ten thousand merchants that they have listed. Uh, There's a hundred thousand here. Yeah, so they say a hundred thousand merchants on their front page. Maybe they when they gave me the bullet points, it's uh, they just got the number wrong there. Yeah. It's so. easy to drop a zero, but yeah. that's a big deal, 100,000 merchants. Current price with 56 bids is uh, about $3,500. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, go in, go big. Uh, this is going to be a big deal. All right. So, what, spendbitcoins.com slash sale? That's right. All right, let's go to your calls and thoughts here. We've got Livewire listening in New Orleans. You're on Free Talk Live. Hey, Livewire. Hey, how's it going? Hey, you're on uh, the air. Go I ahead. Just wanted to mention, uh, I wanted to mention that... Uh, in Louisiana, we've just had the state legislature pass a medicinal marijuana bill. So uh, apparently, the state's going to be moving into a more free, uh, liberty-minded. Smoke, Wait a minute. So just to, just to clarify, <laughs> the state legislature, both sides, uh, the Senate and the House, have passed this. Yeah, it, it was uh, actually late last week, and I didn't read any article or whatever, so I don't know all the specifics, but apparently they're addressing, like, saying three uh, specific ailments would enable you to get the marijuana, like if you have Just cancer. Just three, huh? Um, yeah, I think was the initial That's thing. That's probably that even weaker than the New Hampshire one. <laughs> I mean, the New, the New Hampshire medical <laughs> marijuana bill is pretty pathetic, uh, but that sounds even worse. Well... It's right. not so, as bad as uh, most. But, but the, but. The, key, the, the key thing is that it's it's being uh, it's a stepping stone to further legalization. Would have, in fact, the governor had committed that he was going to sign the bill. So um, okay, that's you know, good we're, news. We're moving in that direction. Now, this is the state. We actually just had somebody uh, visiting New Hampshire from uh, the New Orleans area recently. Actually, just this weekend, mm-hmm. and this is the place where you can go to prison for a joint, right, Louisiana. I yeah, pretty much. Yeah, and and like if you if you went to prison uh, three times for three different joints, then on the third one you'd get a twenty year sentence supposedly. Mm. So uh, yeah, we definitely need to be changing that that sort of thing. Well, and we we I, I personally have lost friends by other third parties who were alcoholics or drunks or whatever on the street and ran people over and killed people. So. I definitely know the uh, the reality of what the alcohol, particularly here in our city, where you can buy alcohol 365, 24 <laughs> hours a day in any convenience store. So, um, yeah. Thanks for bringing that news benefit. to the uh, the forefront, Livewire. Anything else you want to share tonight? Not tonight. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate hearing from you. Toll free number is eight fifty five four fifty free. I, you know, I, I wish them the best. You uh-huh. know, Livewire brought up alcohol and how available it is in Louisiana oh, yeah. and how bad the drug laws are uh, regarding cannabis or marijuana in Louisiana. I happen to think that one must have to do with the other, right? Like the big alcohol lobbies, they want to keep cannabis illegal because that's competition for them. And so in a place like Louisiana where alcohol is so available, that is the drug of choice for the for those people. Imagine yeah. the danger that these alcohol companies see in the availability of new competition that I people could realize that. is better and well, safer. I, yeah, I wonder. You know, I, I wonder what the numbers are like from uh, Washington State or Colorado. Have the alcohol providers seen any decline whatsoever in their sales, 
Or is it that people are just spending more on Vice in total? Like, you know, it, mm-hmm. I mean, presuming there is some extra spending going on for marijuana, which I suspect mm-hmm. there is, because certainly the very least because of tourism. And, and because uh, it's coming out of the black market into the white market. So you're going to see new money there. And you can also count some of that money, too, because right. it's in the, the you know, the up uh, above board market, right. uh, if you will. But what is the actual, st- you know, what are the statistics on the alcohol uh, distributors there in Colorado, for instance? I mean, have they taken a hit? Was it 1%, 5%, or are they doing better than ever? I- I'd be very interested. I wonder if anyone has uh, has studied that. Let's talk to AC in Ohio. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, AC. Yeah, I got a, a interesting question for you. Um, you know, as a liberty minded individual, um, and uh, someone who uh, you know complains about all the crap the government does, you know, one of the uh, constant questions that I've gotten a lot, and you guys have gotten a lot, is the old "love it or leave it" line. And I gotta hey, say, how do you guys uh, respond to that? In an intelligent way. Well, okay, so um, is it – give me the precise phrase because I think that's important. Which one um, are we talking about here? Well, you know, I'm just sitting here. I was doing some stuff on Facebook. I was uh, I posted a thing about me, you know, talking about, you know, how the flag doesn't represent freedom. It represents murder and destruction, all these bad things. And, this, and one of these – this guy who was an old classmate might say, if you don't like it, you can leave it, Tommy. <laughs> oh, okay. Tommy. Well, Ooh. I would ask them, is that what you would have told George Washington? Mm. Because this is precisely what the, the founding fathers said. You know what? We're not leaving, and we're going to stay here, and we're going to fight for what we believe to be ours. Wait, let me preempt the, that person's argument. They're going to say apples and oranges. They're what the say, hell's apples and oranges about that? That George Washington lived under tyranny, and we don't live under tyranny today. George Washington had a lower tax rate than the tax rates that the average American lives under today. You don't know what tyranny is, sir. AC? Yeah, the thing is, and to say that we're not living under tyranny, uh, what is the government doing to us on a regular basis if not tyranny? What is it, then? Well, this is the, these are the Service. laws. That, yeah, these are the laws that we have put in place. This is our system. And put them in place. Sure, you voted. Did you? you voted, didn't you? <laughs> I didn't vote. Well, then you can't complain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, the, th- the, right. the funny thing about the vote or not vote, it doesn't really make a difference, is, is that you had the opportunity to vote. So therefore, if you say you didn't vote, then it's your fault for not having voted. If you did vote, it's your fault for having, uh, you know, uh, acquiesced to the system or whatever. There's, uh, you know, it's too pronged and, and really not worth uh, having that conversation. The fact is, is that... You know, there's no reason. The Founding Fathers didn't love it or leave it, and they probably love them. Good call, AC. Thanks for making it tonight. Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. 855-450-3733. More prohibitionist nonsense about DMT coming up. (laughs) There are hundreds of silver products on the market today, but there's nothing like the astonishing health benefits of the multi-patented One Silver Solution. Boost your immune system at a great price with our Silver Solution Liquid, starting at $12.95 a bottle, now available in regular and extra strength. That's half the price of the leading competitors. Call 844-USE-SILVER for your free catalog or go to onesilversolution.com, onesilversolution.com. There is only one silver solution. Hey, Berkey Guy here. Are you still drinking unfiltered tap water? Does your water contain chlorine or fluoride? Will you have drinkable water in an emergency? The Berkey Guy is here to help you remove these and other potential contaminants from your water, thus helping you drink clean, purified water. We offer Berkey water purification systems at the lowest available prices online. Don't go another moment without Berkey System. Over the last 10 years, we've helped thousands drink clean, purified water. Join them by visiting GoBerkey.com or call me, the Berkey Guy, at 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Free Talk Live. The people that fought the Korean War and, frankly, the Afghan War won because those people are the military-industrial complex. And what they wanted is they want things that go boom to, to go boom so that they can build more things that go boom. That the purpose of the war isn't freedom, it's not justice, it's not any of these higher concepts that, in fact, um, you know, that the, the lives, uh, minds, and bodies of the people that are going out there and uh, fighting for these wars, that they are inconsequential to the politicians and so the people for the whom they work. So you're saying the state won these wars the in Vietnam and Afghanistan. The state won, but the individuals who fought the war, they're the ones that took the brunt of it. They're the ones that lost. 
That's right. And I, and I totally agree. They do enough to make it seem like they're doing something and to keep us happy enough just to control it. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. Ross Ulbricht was convicted in early 2015 of running the infamous Silk Road Underground Market. The Silk Road was a gift to humanity and helped reduce the harms brought on by drug prohibition. For this good deed, Ross has been sentenced to life in prison with no possibility of parole. Now, an appeal is Ross's only chance, and he needs your support. Please visit FreeRoss.org, where you can contribute via various methods, including Bitcoin. Visit FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. I've been told no in many different ways. I give you an order and you're going to obey it. Who told you you're going to explain You can do that and you have to leave here. You cannot reach signs into the rally. Walk with me. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm comfortable here, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Who do you think you Excuse are? me. There is no video or audio allowed in this office. No, I have work today. This is you ain't going to make it. Wait a minute. Now. Wait a minute. Hey! Oh my god! Unbelievable! Because you're scared of the property. What am I being detained for? You're being served. What is this? You're being served. What is this? Bureaucrats have a funny way of telling people no. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at victimlesscrimespree.com. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and you can join us here toll-free to bring up whatever you'd like, 855-450-FREE. We've got more on the way on DMT, this very propagandist scare story that uh, was posted here in New Hampshire about the supposed drastic increase in usage of DMT. Uh, we'll talk more about that. And what is DMT? We, you touched on it a little bit, Derek J., mm-hmm. earlier, but we'll get into it a little deeper here in moments. 855-450-FREE is our toll-free number. We've got Skype at Skype username LRN.FM. And, Mark, I see you are getting your brand-new ID Stronghold wallet out there to oh. show off to the webcam. It I is imagine. not mine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nice but clutch. <laughs> we, I wanted to make sure you got a chance to see it because you've been doing the ads here. Yeah. Um, this is, but obviously this is a woman's wallet, and uh, you had so kindly, Laura was very excited when she saw it because um, she figured she was going to get it. And she is going to <laughs> get it. And she is going to get it. Yeah. But it's this thing's pretty awesome. It's got all kinds of pockets and stuff in it, and and um, it also protects your credit cards as the, uh, you know, right, from, strongholds uh, from electronic namesake. pickpocketing where a thief can scan you, scan probably a group of people and bounce back from the RFID chips that are in many credit and debit cards these days, bounce back the information from them, then use that info to charge your card. Oh, no. And possibly even steal your identity. And ID Stronghold has been making products like the one you have in your hand there, Mark, and I also have one more of the uh, the men's style uh, to block electronic pickpocketing since 2005. In fact, some of their customers are military personnel that place a high value on personal security. And now you can have that same protection in the form of great leather RFID blocking wallets made by ID Stronghold. Just switch your wallet to a quality leather wallet from ID Stronghold with built-in protection against electronic pickpocketing and they've got a huge selection, by the way, of they really do, yeah. purse wallets. So go to idstronghold.com and you'll find something that you like. That's idstronghold.com. And tell them Ian Freeman sent you. Otherwise, they won't know that you heard about it from us. Did you see the uh, the little medallion thing that's uh, right on the front? It's I got the mine, yes. ID Stronghold uh, symbol here. I think it's really kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, these are these are nice products. 
Yeah, and the price is reasonable as well. So go and see it for yourself. IDStronghold.com. At twice the price, you're going to be happy you did it if, uh, if you protect, your you protect identity. yourself from getting your credit card information stolen yeah, one time. Absolutely. Let's it is worth it for that value. Tom, he's in Nashua, New Hampshire. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Tom. Uh, yeah, it's about that pool party down there in McKinney, Texas, that's been on the news about uh. the the cops and the, the police brutality. I don't know how much of that you've. Uh, I have seen out. it all over Facebook. I have done. Uh, I have not watched the entirety of the video yet, but I heard. I have heard that it is absolutely uh, awful the behavior of the police. But it's also a matter of some of the teenagers were outraged and started fighting back and. The, the cop pulled a gun. They're saying that this is what's happening. It is encouraging, it, you know, uh, but it's the wrong amount of courage when they're, uh, you know, 50 percent ready to fight back 50 percent. It's kind of like uh, out in Berkeley, Missouri, back on December 23rd, when Antonio Martin uh, was uh, gunned down by the police. Uh, from what I could see from the video there, the uh, these people were peacefully minding their own business. The cop pulled in, got out to start trouble, and wanted to uh, do a pat-down search on Antonio Martin, uh, who would then have been arrested for exercising his Second Amendment right to keep and bear arms. So he was ready to fight back 50% and pull the gun, whereupon the cop shot him dead. See, because he wasn't 100% ready. This is the only thing I like about ISIS. They're not ready to, they're not fighting for liberty. That's the problem. But they're willing to die in the shootout and they're killing a lot of cops. Well, <laughs> I don't think that violence is the solution. Thank you, Tom, for the call tonight. Uh, the toll free number is 855 450 free. But I understand why people are so upset about the police. You know, it is frustrating to have these guys destroying a pool party and, uh, you know, just ruining everybody's fun, arresting young people and older people for possession of plants and uh, various different things that have no victims. So I can understand why people feel like they're being pushed to the brink of violence. What I, you know, I, I feel like there's nothing wrong with interfering when the police are attacking somebody and trying to stop the attack. But I just don't, you know, I just don't think that violence solves problems. Yeah, there's a right way and a wrong way. And I have to disagree strongly with Tom Seneman here about how the people in this video acted. Uh, I would have preferred to see people backing off, putting their hands up in the air, saying like, hey, cut that out, pulling out video cameras. So you've watched this full thing because the one I'm seeing here is seven minutes long. Yeah, and there's, I mean, some of the things I don't like, and, you know, this is a heat of the moment thing, but... Shouting generally doesn't look good on video. looks like yep. you're belligerent. And if the police use violence against someone who's shouting in their face, it sort of looks justified. Whether or not mm. it is, you're watching this video from the middle of things. So you don't really see what went on beforehand. And cop brutalizing people who look out of control, that sort of looks justifiable. Where so does it start? See- What's, what happens in the beginning of this video? And- that there, there are these two women who are fighting in the mm-hmm. beginning of the At video. The and they're like pulling each other's hair. And there was some kind of disagreement. Like some people need to get out of there. I get it. You know, disputes happen. But it, it was four people at the beginning. and are then the it police blew up- there in the beginning? No. Okay. And the, the police were called by a nearby neighbor. They're right. like, there's something going on. The police should show up and ruin everything. Yeah, that'll make a fight a lot better when the police show up. <sighs> yeah. Well, I can understand why people react that way. Fights can escalate and, um, you so know. So can the police. Sure. That's what happened. Yeah. So. At this point, I think what we can see is is that America's changing, okay? Um, it's. You, you can't just show up and pull guns on unarmed people um, in the United States. So Unless cops, you're a cop, you can. Well, uh, he did. <laughs> he's uh, he's suspended. Oh, this is this is pay? a pretty what is he suspended with pay? Uh, I don't I don't think so. I think it's a, a punitive suspension at hmm. this point. Um, well, I've got a story here from NPR. If you want, you can go ahead and check it out. But I, uh, you know, my understanding was punitive, and I suspect that means without pay. Police responding to a reported disturbance at a community pool in McKinney, Texas, are seen in a video posted to YouTube aggressively subduing black teenagers and at one point pulling a gun on them. The video posted Saturday shows police running after swimsuit-clad teens and an officer throwing a girl to the ground and using his body weight to pin her down. When other teens approach the officer, he releases her and briefly draws his sidearm before two other officers intervene. In a post to the McKinney Police Department's Facebook page, it says the incident occurred Friday at about 7.15 at the Craig Ranch Community Pool. 
and that officers were responding to a disturbance involving multiple juveniles at the location who do not live in the area or have permission to be there, refusing to leave. Brandon Brooks, who posted the video, wrote in the description, quote, A fight between a mom and a girl broke out, so maybe it wasn't two, two teenagers. Uh, and when the cops showed up, everyone ran, including the people who didn't do anything. So the cops just started putting everyone on the ground and in handcuffs for no reason. This kind of force is uncalled for, especially on children and innocent bystanders. And of course, you know, when the when you run from the police, whether you've done something wrong or not, unfortunately, it usually triggers their fight response. <laughs> You're fl- fleeing. Yeah. That triggers their fight it's response. The chase response, yeah. And uh, and they want to come and crack some heads as a result of that. So you got to be very careful with running from the police. Uh, in its face, yeah, just back away slowly, like a, with a bear. <laughs> That's you know, and record as well. This is what Dave Ridley really does very very well uh, at RidleyReport.com. It's he's sort of like. He originated this this move, as far as mm-hmm. I'm concerned. Yeah, backing away slowly while recording and yeah. complying with everything. Yeah, whenever the police tell Dave Ridley to leave somewhere, he leaves, but as slow as he possibly can, just kind of walking slowly. Backwards. Backwards, recording video the entire time. <laughs> it's hilarious. And it is very funny. In its Facebook post, the police department says they are investigating the incident and, quote, at this time... One of the responding officers has been placed on administrative leave. Now, if they don't specify, that I means think paid. That means he's getting paid, yes. Mark. Uh, and uh, let's see, pending the outcome of said investigation. So, a paid vacation is the consequence for pulling out a gun and brutalizing a bunch of teens for no reason. Yeah. Now, maybe the teenagers weren't acting uh, in a mature manner, uh, but n- would you say that the response from the police was absolutely uncalled for? Absolutely. Yeah. All right, so there's more on the way here uh, in moments. Pay and benefits intact. And you can take control of the airwaves. And tell us what you think about the pool party crackdown here. No partying allowed. 855-450-FREE, 855-450-3733. Although it may be that some of these people were on property that they weren't welcome on, it sounds like. It's Free Talk Live. More coming up. You can share your thoughts. This is Shaquille O'Neal. And the Shaquettes. Reminding you that anytime, anytime is a good time. Good time for the cooling, drying, fresh scent of gold bond powder spray. Like after the gym, or a crowded elevator ride, or golf, or working with farm animals, or a hard day's work, like sports casting. You said it, ladies. Stay cool with gold bond powder spray. Stay cool with gold bond. <laughs> DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit and carting to a private bank, having it led back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Are you your Google search results killing you? Unflattering content in blogs, news articles, online reviews, social media, or other sources can jeopardize your reputation, your business, and your livelihood. Let Reputation.com help. Our patented technology will make the truth about you more visible while pushing down unwanted negative content. Improve your Google search results. Call Reputation.com at 1-800-831-0771 for a free consultation. That's 800-831-0771. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for under $30,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet under $30,000. Many 
manufacturers. If you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for 129000 You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. Call 800-917-8251. 800-917-8251, 800-917-8251. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. If worse comes to worst, will you be prepared? You don't have to be a survivalist to prepare for the unexpected. Storing necessary supplies like food, water, and emergency equipment is simply taking responsibility for ourselves and our families when it counts the most. Strategicshelters.com offers emergency supplies and a secure way to store them and provides protection for loved ones in the event of an extreme natural or man-made disaster. To find out more, visit strategicshelters.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Dial in toll-free and join us here. We've got some prohibitionist nonsense on the way from a uh, news source, so-called about DMT. We just touched it uh, at the very beginning of the show and then talked to you about various other things, and including the pool party video, which I honestly have yet to actually watch. Derek J., you say you've seen this full seven-minute long uh, video. I've also heard something about, and have not seen it, that there's another video that has been released prior, mm. prior to that. I don't know. I, I just heard about that. Rumor has it. If you know more, please fill us in at 855-450-FREE. It's open phones here all the time. Uh, we also have Skype. You can Skype into the show at username lrn.fm. we got some other bad behavior by cops coming up, including a, a, a home in Colorado that was destroyed, basically, by the police when police were trying to catch a suspect of a uh, shoplifting event. So mm. just shoplifting apparently means that someone's home should be absolutely decimated. And by the way, the person whose home was destroyed was not the same person who was the alleged shoplifter. So this mm. poor guy. <laughs> just collateral damage. Yeah, we can uh, tell you more about you know, that. what it is, I think it's really yeah. the police's hurt feelings. It's not about like, well, the shoplifting is a very serious <laughs> crime. It's that, you know, he's evading us. He's not allowed to do that. It was a standoff for 19 hours, apparently. Uh. We'll uh, tell you more about that. But first, Don is, or excuse me, Dan is in Grand Rapids, uh, Minnesota. You're on Free Talk Live, Dan. Hey, how you doing? Hey, what's on your mind tonight, Dan? Go ahead. Well, I was listening to the situation that occurred down in Texas, and as I listened to you gentlemen talk about it, I was looking at it from a, from a standpoint that, you know, the whole thing could have been avoided. It sounds to me like we had some teens that were at a place they weren't supposed to be. So if they weren't there in the first place, none of this would have happened. So what if the cop and, just came up and said, hey, guys, you're not supposed to be here. Get lost. Well, let's let's walk through it. I mean, they're not supposed to be there in the first place. Okay. Um, I don't know exactly how far they were away from their home and how old they are and, and what's going on. But another thing, maybe. These look like older teenagers uh, from the video clips yeah, that I've seen. Yeah. Um, haven't seen the video, but, you know, they're somewhere where they're not supposed to be. You think the lady that he threw on the ground that was wearing the yellow bikini wasn't supposed to be there? Because she looks like she's supposed to be at a pool party. Don't know. It wasn't there. But I don't walk, either. Uh, but, I mean, it looks like she came for a pool party. Think about, think about it from a standpoint that— So you don't really uh, know, though, Dan. You don't really right. know how well, many of them weren't supposed to be there, right? Like, was it all of them? Neither did the yeah. cop. That's and why it looked so awful for him. Okay, how are you determining that? Mind if I, you mind if I finish what I was going to say? Go right ahead, buddy. Okay. Now, so they're not supposed to be there. You have that established that at least one person was not supposed to be there. to be there, but you have okay. not established the person so that the, the police, police officer threw to the ground wasn't supposed to be there. 
once again, would you let me finish? No. You, can, we, can we talk about the person that got thrown to the ground? People you... aren't upset that a police officer showed up when they were called. A poli- people are upset okay, that so this lady in the bikini about, got thrown to the ground. Somebody got thrown to the ground. Uh, the police officer shows up, and everybody starts running. So if I'm a police officer, I, I'm assuming there's something going on here that's that's obviously wrong. That's going to happen I every asked, time you run from a cop. Yep. To, I asked the people to stop, and uh, I came there because I was called to come there because <laughs> evidently there was a fight, there was a disturbance, there was whatever. The cop didn't just show up uh, without a call. He comes in because... He was called to the scene. See, Mark, don't you understand? Once you call the cops, they can show up, throw anybody to the ground that they want to, and throw their, you know, pull their gun out on anybody. It's totally legitimate as soon as you call the cops, right, Dan? Is that what you're saying? So what I'm saying is, okay, the people are there. Let's go forward. And okay, we got the person. Uh, I don't know what the person did in regards to provoking the cop to say, hey, put her down. Okay. Now, if I'm a police officer and I'm there, and all of a sudden. I've got a group of teens that are now coming in at me. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Uh, do what have you have you seen do, the video? Do I know of any of Do I know of any of them are armed or anything? Do I have know you that? seen the video? No. Okay, so you really don't know what you're talking about. At least I'll admit when I don't know what I'm talking about because you're presuming that the teens were coming in after this guy. Well, you're presuming that the police. The police officer did something wrong. And the police officer pulled out his service weapon have, and pointed at a bunch of unarmed all people. The facts? You don't have all the facts either. I got the I got the fact no, that the police officer pulled out his service weapon and pointed at a bunch of unarmed people. Yeah. Okay. And there you go. do you know? Do, do, does the video show everything of everyone that was? You know it there? doesn't. The video never shows everything. Okay. Well, yeah. So there, Here's there a, I got a little a news for you. For America's that. changing, and cops can't just pull out guns on unarmed people anymore. If they do, they're going to get trouble. People are rioting in this country for a reason. Well, where you're going to end up is, 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 is at some point in time, police are going to take a stance, and they're just going to say, fine, go do whatever you want. Excellent. Great. Can I stop paying their pensions then? <laughs> I mean, you got to look at this every time. I mean, is is every time that a police officer pulls out a weapon, are they evidently when you look at uh, listen to all these various radio shows and whatnot, every time a police officer pulls out his weapon, he's doing the wrong thing. Hey, well, I, here's what I wonder: is I wonder why uh, Germany shot two the cops in Germany shot two people last year, and cops in um, the United States shot fourteen hundred. I wonder why uh, the, p- the police in the United States shoot more than two and a half times as many people as the police in Canada. I wonder why people in March, uh, why cops killed more people in March than they did in Great Britain in the 20th century. I wonder why they've only killed one person in the history of Iceland, but police here j- are pulling guns out on unarmed people at a pool party. Well, That's what I wonder. We, we have, we have our, in our cities, we have, unfortunately— an unbelievable amount of crime. This doesn't look like a city. Well. I see lots of trees and grass. This is a nice area. Well, uh, I mean, in general, you're saying you're you're the one that started talking about the whole United States. Yeah, so is true. the in U.S. United the crime States, capital have, of the world or something? I don't think so. No, it's yeah, it is. I mean, no, we have not. more. We, it, it, no. Come on. I mean, World you were just, you just pulling information out of your butt, Dan. Look, here's my question for you. Oh, right. When was the last time you saw the police? Not You didn't have to personally see it, but see a news story or something like that where the police did something you thought was wrong. When when the police did something that I thought was wrong? Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, it, recently there was a situation, I can't remember which state it was, where the policeman shot a guy that was running away from him. Color, uh, that was South Carolina, Carolina, North Charleston, South yeah. Carolina. All right. At yeah, least you were able wrong. to identify I, that. Thank you, that Dan, was... for your call tonight. I appreciate it. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. You can't get on the air and claim that the teenagers were closing in on the cop, so what's he supposed to do when, you when you've never even seen the video? So this is the position that I was in some years ago here on Free Talk Live is I immediately gave the benefit of the doubt to the police every time. And when you see enough videos, I don't care who you are, 
you stop doing it at some point because the police. Okay, so this officer has been put on administrative leave, um, and the police that showed up, they didn't put him in handcuffs or anything like that. Uh, now I don't know whether he's done anything wrong or not, but it is the rare circumstance where I see this, uh, you know, the, this police officer come in and take and bring a bad cop under control. What they do is they support the bad cop, even if they bring him up on charges later, which is rare, extraordinarily rare. He's protected at that point by his brethren. There is a code. And once the you a know thin a, blue line. Yeah. Once there's a code, that's when I well, I just realized there's a team and I'm not on it. Mm. Right? I mean, as a fireman, I guess I'm sorta on it, but only if they know that I'm on it, right? Like they, you know, got the badge or whatever. Only if you're in costume. Now we had a situation here recently in Keene where I can say I'm pretty proud of the Stadies. They pulled over a, a local um, cop for drunk driving and charged him for it. That's true. He pled guilty. And was he in a cop car? I don't think so. I don't think so. It was. Uh, I would I presume vehicle. that detail would have been mentioned uh, if he was. But I can assure you, they knew he was a police officer mm. when they began the arrest process. Okay. Because but they have systems for telling each other this information. You know. I mean, Plus, everybody knows everybody around here. I mean, this is an area where you know the, the, the cops state know police, each other. Yeah, right, absolutely. The state police know who every one of the local cops are. Oh hmm. shoot, Jim or whatever his name is. I yeah. don't know what it is, and I don't want to. I don't particularly want to uh, give it out. Peter Bowers. Yeah, thanks. Um, <laughs> so you know, and I don't think the guy should necessarily lose his job over this either. I think he's lost a certain le- level of credibility when it comes to drunk driving arrests, but. You know, I mean, I get that the guy's been, he, he's, you know, received a great deal of training. I and actually felt kind of sorry for him when it happened. And I, I've act, this Me is too. on my list of stories that I still have yet to post to freekeen.com. I've got a backlog of stuff. But uh, you're going to tell him not to take the plea deal? It's too late. He already did. Oh. He already pled guilty. Um, but we don't know what, you know, the the BAC was on him. Maybe it was point zero nine, and this was just like some Could ridiculous. Could have been point zero eight. Right. Maybe this was some ridiculous arrest where he wasn't even impaired. Uh, so I don't know what the, the details of the story are. I haven't read the police report. It is something I would like to do. But, you know, credit to Bowers. He's the one cop who actually participated in Chalk the Police Day here oh, yeah. in Keene. He actually grabbed some chalk and chalked a smiley face in downtown Keene, which I really thought was pretty cool. Maybe he's drunk. Of course, he also he also <laughs> arrested nice. a topless woman uh, wrongfully. It's Free Talk Live. More coming up. The Atlas Society's Atlas Summit is just around the corner, June 18th through the 21st, right before Porkfest in Nashua, New Hampshire. Connect, grow, have fun with longtime objectivists and people just learning Ayn Rand's philosophy. There are discounts for students, locals, and one-day rates at atlassociety.org. The event is jam-packed with speakers. Come and be a part of the most important objectivist event of the year, the Atlas Summit, June 18th through the 21st, Nashua, New Hampshire, atlassociety.org. 20% off with coupon code FTL, atlassociety.org. If worse comes to worst, will you be prepared? You don't have to be a survivalist to prepare for the unexpected. Storing necessary supplies like food, water, and emergency equipment is simply taking responsibility for ourselves and our families when it counts the most. StrategicShelters.com offers emergency supplies and a secure way to store them and provides protection for loved ones in the event of an extreme natural or man-made disaster. To find out more, visit StrategicShelters.com. So you've signed the Shire Society Declaration and are planning your move to New Hampshire to be around more liberty-oriented people. Next, sign up for the Shire Society Forum at forum.shiresociety.com. There are a bunch of people there who are already in the Shire, and they want to meet you. If you're already in the Shire physically, you should also come by the forums. Remember, not everyone uses Facebook. New people are signing up for the Shire Society Forum every month, so drop in and say hello at forum.shiresociety.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats and the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. 
From Keenan, the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Monday, June 8th, 2015. Silver is trading at $16.03 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,173 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $227. Antiwar.com reports medical officials from the Yemeni capital city of Sana'a reported at least 45 people killed yesterday, including 20 civilians, when Saudi Arabia attacked the Yemeni army headquarters with a series of airstrikes. Over 100 others were reported wounded. Locals reported four separate airstrikes against the area around the army headquarters, which is in the middle of a residential district in Sana'a. Several civilian buildings were destroyed over the course of the strikes, along with the army headquarters. Saudi officials presented the these latest attacks as retaliation for a pair of Scud B missiles fired at them by the Shiite Houthis. The missiles were shot down by Patriot missile batteries and no casualties were reported. This is, however, the latest in a long series of Saudi airstrikes against Yemeni cities, many of them focusing on military infrastructure in or near residential areas. Hundreds of Yemeni civilians have been killed over the course of the nearly two-month-long war. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. UPI reports Saudi Arabia's Supreme Court on Sunday upheld the sentence of blogger Raif Badawi to 1,000 lashes and 10 years of imprisonment. Badawi was arrested in 2012 for cybercrime and insulting Islam through electronic channels through his website Liberal Saudi Network. He was sentenced in May of 2014. Amnesty International said in a statement, 20 weeks of agony, 10 years of imprisonment. This is the painful price of criticizing religious authorities in Saudi Arabia. Rafe's so-called crime was violating Saudi Arabia's informational technology law and insulting Islam through the creation of a website meant for social and political debate in Saudi Arabia. The prosecution called for him to be tried for apostasy or abandoning his religion, which carries the death penalty. Badawi received the first 50 lashes of his sentence on January 9th and was supposed to receive the remaining 950 lashes in increments of 50 every following Friday, but all floggings were previously postponed for medical reasons. Amnesty International added, flogging violates the absolute prohibition of torture and other cruel, inhuman, and degrading treatment in international law. The U.S. Department of State previously expressed concern about Saudi Arabia's apostasy law, stating it restricts freedom of expression and freedom of religion. You can support FPP Radio by joining the FANS program. FANS help FPP afford to produce more original content. You can join the FANS program for as little as $3 per month or any amount of Bitcoin per month thanks to the recurring payment options provided by Coinbase. To learn more or to join the FANS program, visit fans.fppradio.com. Reuters reports more than 50 lawmakers in Prime Minister David Cameron's Conservative Party launched a campaign to back Britain's exit from the EU unless he can get it to adopt radical reforms, even as U.S. President Barack Obama argued in favor of staying. Cameron, riding high after a surprise outright victory in last month's parliamentary election, wants to claw back power from the European Union before holding a referendum by the end of 2017 on whether Britain should stay or leave. But the formation of the new campaign group, Conservatives for Britain, underlined the challenge he faces within his own party from Eurosceptics who doubt his chances of breaking what they see as a stifling grip of Brussels. Speaking alongside Cameron on the sidelines of a Group of Seven summit in Germany, Obama said, I would note that one of the great values of having the United Kingdom in the European Union is its leadership and strength on a whole host of global challenges. Cameron wants to restrict EU migrants' access to British welfare payments, improve the single market for trading of goods and services, and win safeguards to ensure that countries that don't use the euro, like Britain, are not put at a disadvantage by greater integration among those that do. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com.
This is the Onion Week in Review. In local news, a succession of terrible events failed to befall a 33-year-old riding a longboard to his digital media job Monday. Shocked bystanders helplessly watched as media developer Jake Reston skated safely through Manhattan traffic without flipping over on his obnoxiously oversized skateboard and smashing his stupid f***ing face into the pavement. With many saying they were horrified at the sight of the floppy-haired little shit walking into his office unscathed. It was one of the most horrible things I've ever seen. He wasn't even hit by a car. I was just praying that someone would step in and throw him off a stupid little skateboard and punch him right in the mouth. In other news, a study finds owning a cool leather jacket is more rewarding than raising a child. A community garden sprouts the first condom wrapper of spring, and a little turtle gorges on an entire raspberry. Tonight in the cabin, school marms telling about how they talk about corpulation down the school. Only a fool needs telling how to screw. Just let the pecker guide you. But come on, listen anyhow. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. You're invited to join us here toll free. Our number is 855 450 free. Still to come here tonight, uh, there is. A lady who is dead due to the bureaucrats in New Jersey not doing their job Mm -hmm. by approving her concealed weapons or her just ownership permit, right? Just to have a gun. That's right. right. So we'll get we'll tell you more about that situation here, but there's also just so much more in the news. Plenty of your calls as well. 855 450 free with you in the studio. You've got me, Ian. Derek J. And Mark. And you can see Derek J. in court this morning right now over at freekeen.com. Did you also cross post to thederekj.com? Of course. Excellent. So uh, Derek J.'s website, thederekj.com. You go there and you can see a relatively short video, about five minutes long. That's right. Of uh, Derek J.'s arraignment this morning. You have brought the entertainment back to the arraignment. It's a circus again. Yes, and uh, it was an interesting... Even Judge Burke enjoyed it. He, he was smiling. Smile. And he is the ringleader, after all. And the prosecutor was laughing and smiling. It was a, just a jolly good day in court this morning. And... The audience laughed. Everyone had a good time. And you you made a special motion yep. that one can only make once per year. And you If have you're to, lucky. You'll have to watch the video to see what that special motion was and how it went over. Uh, that's the reason the judge smiled, so mm-hmm. you'll have to go and check that out at thederekj.com as we go to your calls. Good tease, because now I want to know. Yeah, <laughs> go, go to your calls and thoughts here, and again, it's a short video, so it's no problem to eat it up. Uh, let's go first to Hurricane Jason, calling from Hurricane Utah, listening to KZNU. Hello, Jason. How's it going, gentlemen? Uh, we're doing a radio show. Go ahead. Hey, uh... I, I guess I, I wanted to call and ask you guys some solutions for this this problem we have with the police beating, tasing, and just basically being thugs. Um, there was a I, – I can't remember the guy's name, but we had an incident. You guys might have seen the, the video. It kind of went viral where the police uh, shot a guy with uh, headphones on when they asked him to put his hands up. Yeah. And yeah. they basically uh. handcuffed him, laid him down. It, it's a hard video to watch because he's basically laying in you know his own pool. It's of terrible. They handcuff um, a dead guy. That's sick. Yeah. Just to be like, yeah. oops. I guess I wanted to get you guys' take on a call. I mean, my thought of watching that is, like, I don't see anything the Nazis did worse than that. I mean, really. I mean, that, it's right up there with it. Um, it's I know horrifying. Sounds, you know, when you throw, D- yeah, it is. Derek it's, and I were talking about this before the show tonight. It's We've seen so many of these videos. I don't want to watch them anymore. This is how I feel about it. I, it. Like this pool party video, I didn't even watch it a little bit until this afternoon, and that was only after I'd seen it pop up on my Facebook feed a zillion times. I was finally like, all right, this must right, be Right, I'm worth emotionally watching. taxed when it comes to these videos. Yeah, but to answer Jason's right. question here, Ian, you don't watch these videos anymore because you've done something with your life that removed you from that situation. You're not in a place where this is happening. This isn't your backyard. The place where you live are relatively nice, all things considered. They're certainly more calm here. There's no doubt. They're easier to have a conversation with. They're you don't hear above. national stories like they're pulling guns on kids at pool parties. You don't hear them shooting people for wearing headphones. Yeah. I mean, the police in New Hampshire, for whatever reason, maybe they have a bit of fear in them that, that people might be armed and shoot back or that they know. just have a mentality that's different from the rest of the country. You've taken yourself out of that world and so this caller maybe you're still in it maybe you feel like when you go down the street the cops may target you next or you may have your headphones on and be shot 
that's the weird thing. I mean, I live in the People's Republic of Utah, which we have a lot of concealed weapons permit, and we have yeah. a lot of cowboys, and it's very like, I mean, seeing a gun here is no no problem, but the terrifying thing about that incident, the video I'm talking about, is if you read the comments on, like, some of the news outlets from Utah, like, 90% of them are like, well, I guess, I guess you should pay attention to the cops, or... You know, that's why you stop when the police tell you to stop, even though you haven't yeah. committed a crime and you're oh, yeah. walking away I mean, from them without headphones. We're, I don't know if you were you listening know, it, to it, the guy crazy. who called in the last hour, but, you know, he was defending the cops in this incident, and he hadn't even taken the time to watch the video where the cops were talking about the pool party, where the uh, the cops rough up and, uh, and harm a, a group of young people and then draw down. One of the cops draws a gun on him. Uh, I mean, this guy didn't have yeah. any idea what he was talking about, but yet he was defending the police. Well, and you so, got to come to the defense of daddy when people are knocking on him, you know. I, I mean, I completely understand your frustration here. And I, I like what you were saying, Derek J., that, you know, you can take steps now to make a difference. And one of the things that you can do to change that balance of that 90 percent, that frustration with seeing all those, you know, cop loving comments, these sycophants who will just to support almost anything the police do is to get together with people who love liberty, who are actually doing something about it. Come to New Hampshire as part of the Free State Project, if you love freedom, that is. And then at least then we can we can start to turn the tide. New Hampshire is the only place, the only state of all the 50 states, which rejected the proposal to have uh, to give the police what they call license plate scanners. They have these devices that a lot of police departments will actually mount to the police cruisers. And then wherever the cops drive, they can drive up and down a parking lot, for instance, and just scan all those license plates in. And then anybody with an open warrant or anybody with, you know, whatever, uh, the cops will, will find that. And they will you know, make more arrests as a result of that. New Hampshire's legislature batted that one back in the cops' face. And the cops do not have that ability in New Hampshire. So the fact that we could hold the line on that issue when all around the country police departments are getting more militarized, they're adding tanks, you know, the Bearcat and more guns and things like that from the, from the military to be able to hold the line and stop the police from having uh, more tools at their disposal to oppress us with. I think that's an indicator that things are very different here in New Hampshire, and it can be better as more people come here as part of the Free State Project. And New Hampshire's just only one of many solutions. What I'm saying to this caller is like, you see the writing on the wall, so do something about it. You know, take yourself, take steps to increase the the freedom and safety in your life, and and don't just you know watch this go down without doing anything about it. But what can the rest of the world do about this, Derek J? I mean, you're the host of Cop Block Radio. You yeah. hear these stories probably even more often than Mark and I do. Mm-hmm. Uh, of course, Cop Block Radio airs weekly on LRN.FM on Wednesday nights. And uh, what do you think? I mean, because not everybody can just the, pick up and move right yeah, away. The, the best thing to do for anyone that anyone can do is video record. And this mm-hmm. it's not absurd to say anyone can video record today. In 2015, everyone's walking around with a video camera on their cell phone. You can live stream using a free app. I like Bamboozer, but there are lots of others. And there's no excuse not to. If you're upset about what's happening, if you've gotten emotional about just seeing one video... Know that there are police in your town and wherever you travel who could snap, who could do the wrong thing. Okay, so it's in your best interest to keep yourself safe, keep an objective record of what's going on by video recording when you see police. Yeah, I would say that's an important one because had this video not existed of this cop pulling a gun on some pool partiers, uh, then nobody would believe the kids. They wouldn't believe the teenagers. And an ounce of prevention is better than a pound of cure. And people look at people like the caller Tom in Nashua look at the gun as the cure, right? But I say no. The the camera is the ounce of prevention. Mm. You know, start working on that, and then maybe we won't have so many problems. Jason, what do you think? So, so uh, I'm running for local city office, and if I get elected, I'll probably be the first libertarian in, in city council in 150 years. So <laughs> I'll just keep you guys in the loop. You mean right? in, you mean in Utah in in city council or the person? Uh, in my in my town, uh, probably okay. in Utah too. <laughs> I hear there's a lot of libertarians but, uh, out there in Utah. Really? You know, we've doing? got a pretty good Ooh. movement going, but Stacking Utah's silver. Utah really likes. Uh, they really like the military. They like the police. I mean, I you don't see that everywhere, is, though. I find yeah. that very interesting because yeah. the Mormons are one of few religious groups in this country that have actually fought the U.S. military. Um, I mean, mm. you know, these are the people that were looking yep. at the other end of the gun at one point. 
Yeah, I mean, you know the history really well. I mean, the Johnson sent an army out to Utah to basically exterminate the Mormons, and they, like, started digging trenches and arming everybody. And even before that, they had some a lot of problems in, like, uh, Nauvoo and everything. So, yeah, it, it's a mystery. I, I don't understand that. It's crazy. Thanks, Jason, for your call tonight. So, yeah, hold these guys accountable. If you don't yet know how to use the video camera feature on your cell phone, take 10 minutes. A little minutes, practice, yeah. Take 10 minutes. And go ahead and practice with it. First step, download Bambuser. Go to uh, the whatever Play Store, App Store, B-A-M-B-U-S-E-R, Bambuser. Download that. It's a free app. Get that installed. It's going to take a moment. You know, you're going to have to download the app. You're going to have to go through an account setup. You're going to have to put in your login credentials. So take 10, 15 minutes, however long it takes to get that done. Then start the program up. Make sure you're logged in and hit the record button. Test it out. Get up on the website. See what it looks like when something uploads. Then you want to go a little more advanced, go into the advanced the, to the settings. You can set up networks. So every time you record a video on your Bambuser app, it'll push it to your YouTube channel, or push it to Facebook. Pretty cool stuff. More coming up here in moments. 855-450 free. It's Free Talk Live. Attention business owners. Do you know the three most critical letters in business? CEO? MBA? Nope. Here's a hint. These three little letters can make the difference between making a fortune and losing everything. ROI? The answer is I-N-C, as in incorporation. Because if you're not incorporated and someone sues your business, you can lose it all. Your home, your car, even your life savings. That's why Incorporate.com is now giving away a free incorporation guide to all business owners. So you can incorporate in just 10 minutes. Protect your home. Protect your car. Protect your life savings. Call 1-800-941-1029 for your free 10-minute incorporation guide from Incorporate.com. They don't provide legal or financial advice. They just make incorporating or forming an LLC quick and easy. Get the three little letters that can mean the difference between making a fortune and losing everything. For your free guide, call 1-800-941-1029. That's 1-800-941-1029. It's very easy to be a criminal. All you need to burglarize a home is one simple household tool, a pair of scissors. If your home security system can be compromised by a criminal using scissors, then you're making it easy for them. Almost every home security system, even the sold by big name companies, has a weakness. The phone line. You shell out 1500 bucks, get locked into a long-term contract, and think you're safe. But a burglar can destroy your alarm in seconds with one one snip. And when a burglar cuts your phone line, you're You're defenseless. defenseless. Simply Safe Home Security is the smarter choice. Built by Harvard engineers, Simply Safe uses a wireless connection to call the cops. Scissors can't cut it, and that means your home stays safe. 24/7 professional monitoring is under $15 a month with no contract. Simply Safe Home Security keeps you safer than the other guys for half the cost. Protect your home with the alarm you can trust. Simply Safe. Go to simplysafedefense.com now for an exclusive 10% offer. That's simplysafedefense.com. Free Press Publications is an independent, alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc, as in Creative Commons. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at LRN.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at LRN.fm. That's LRN.fm. My name is Jacob Hornberger. I'm president of the Future of Freedom Foundation, which Congressman Ron Paul awarded for having an outstanding freedom website. 
Write us at FFF at FFF.org, and we'll send you a free three-month subscription to our monthly journal of libertarian essays and our booklet, Economic Liberty in the Constitution, which George Mason University economics professor Walter Williams praised in a recent column. That's FFF at FFF.org. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. You may dial in and join us here toll free at 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. Joining you tonight, you've got Ian here, Derek J, and Mark. Got a lot of features on our website. You can go and enjoy them for free. Freetalklive.com. We also accept Bitcoin, uh, whether it's just as tips. You can go to the Bitcoin tip jar at bitcoin.freetalklive.com or for advertising. If you need to, uh, if you're going to buy some ads with us, we'll take Bitcoin for that too. But you've got to have Bitcoin in order to spend Bitcoin. And, of course, there are something like, oh, at least 100,000 Bitcoin-accepting businesses listed on spendbitcoins.com. So there's a lot of ways to spend your Bitcoin. There's also other cryptocurrencies like Litecoin and Dogecoin, and you can get all of them over, or at least those three, uh, over at expresscoin.com, where you can buy them with money order or check. Expresscoin is fast, safe, easy, and inexpensive. And they're a licensed money services business. So go to expresscoin.com, whether you're in the U.S. or Canada, and you can get started from your smartphone or right there on the website at expresscoin.com. They do have an app for smartphones. You can use coupon code FTL, and you'll get up to $40 worth of cryptocurrency with no transfer fee at all. So go to expresscoin.com and use coupon code FTL at expresscoin.com. Let's go to your calls and thoughts. And then coming up, more absolutely outrageous propaganda about DMT. Erod is with us first, though, in Marietta, Georgia. Erod, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian Derek yeah, Jamar. So I, yeah, so I heard something amusing today. You know that escape from uh, uh, from the New York prison by those two guys? The yeah. yeah, it's actually in my show yeah. prep for tonight. Oh, yeah, okay. So anyway, so here's what I heard amusing. So I hear uh, Governor Cuomo said uh, that, well, he'll be shocked if it was one of his – you know, prison guards that helped in it. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you know, what are, <laughs> you know, do, do they, does, I mean, what is he saying? Does he want the people to believe that, well, oh, our prison guards are so great, you know, they're not going to do anything wrong? I mean, you know, these are prison guards. I mean, you know, they can't keep drugs out of the street, and they can't even keep the drugs out, out of, of the prison. prisons. Right. You know, and, and so what makes anybody believe that, you know, what, that it's not the prison guards, I mean, that helped them out or did something, you know? And I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to get into this guy's head. I mean, really? Do you want that with the people to believe that, oh, your prison guards have halos over their head, that they wouldn't do anything wrong? I mean, are you kidding me? You know, it's insane, you know? What do you guys think about that? Well, I think it certainly could be the prison guards. I mean, no no shortage of uh, prison guards that have done, you know, illegal things in the past. It could also be bureaucratic incompetence as well, right? Like these these sure. guards are, are so also, as many bureaucrats are, known for being lazy. So it could simply be that they were just not looking at all to, uh, you know, for these security violations. Yeah, they bring people in for sex. They do all kind of things like that. So, sure. you know, I, I just found it very amusing that he would just – Tell the you know the people oh, he's shocked. Hey, but real quick though, hey, let, let, let me let me say something about this the pool party is situation. You know, Ian, I'm like you. You know, I'm 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 getting real tired of looking at some of these videos sometimes. Uh, you know, I personally have been terrorized by the police. You know, with my family. Mm -hmm. You know, when I had you know my my daughter was 12 years old, and this is not the worst I've seen either. I mean, I've seen where, you know, a cop in Seattle. I mean, you know, this 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 teenage girl. You know, flicked. You know her her slippers, those you know the the, the jail slippers that they give you. You know, she, you know he told he told yeah he told him that you know to take it off or something like this. And this was caught on video in the jailhouse video. And so she flicked it off, and you know, and it grazed his foot. And this cop just took her and just you know, rammed her head right in the back of a sink, took her by the hair, and just smashed her face into the ground. So. You know, I'm. I, you know, like I said, sometimes I don't even want to see some of these things. I mean, it's just so, it's just so horrible, and I just can't believe uh, 
you have these apologists out here for the cops. I mean, these guys are really psychopaths, and I don't know what the answer is. I really don't. But, you know, like I said, and, and I really feel for the parent, for the father, because when I was terrorized, when a cop, you know, pulled me over in a checkpoint, I had my entire family in the car, and he yelled and screamed. My daughter was crying, and she was like, you know, 11, 12 years old. I mean, you know, it took me about two years to get over that. Every time I would listen to, let's say, your program or something, or someone would call it, all those feelings would just come up again, you know. You'd and I, I would just get so enraged because I basically let some man just terrorize my family where and you can't do anything normal- about it well i'll tell you what must have been terrible for this family is uh, having done some investigation during the break on this texas uh, pool party thing it looks as though some neighbors i'm just I, I don't know for sure if they're neighbors but some neighbors who were white had come over to this party um, that was during the daytime and were saying things to the black people that were at the party like you know you uh black effers was one term that was used and another was go back to your section eight housing what it looks like is, is this is a really nice neighborhood mm-hmm. and the the, the gal who was throwing the party um, had invited all these people to her party. It was the, um, you know, for whatever reason, this does look like it was a racial situation. There aren't too many well, of them. Um, that- but, Louis, just to clarify, legit party, party thrown yeah. by someone who lives in the neighborhood, legit invitees to the party. Right, and some people are coming over and being jerks and saying racial yeah. slurs. The white cop shows up and then, be, uh, you know, be- begins pounding on the black people. I can only imagine what that must be like, uh, you know, in that circumstance. Right, yeah, and also, you know, I heard the interview with Brandon. He's the guy who actually took the video, and he's a white guy. And he said most of the kids, the black kids that that were at the party, lived in the neighborhood. Mm. And then also the interviewer, and I don't know who that person was, asked him, well, do you think there's any racial tones to her? And he said, this is Brandon. The guy who took it, he said, well, absolutely. Because, you know, he was the only guy standing up right in the middle of everything, taking the video, and the cops, and this is his words, quote, I was invisible to the cops, Mm. you know. So, you know, and, and I'm a person, you know, I hate to bring up race, I mean, because I can't read the mind of a person. I don't know what you're thinking, and it's, and it's the last thing that I want to do. Unless, unless you say it out of your mouth, I don't know for absolutely sure. I can surmise that, yeah, maybe this is a, a racial situation, you know, but I can't say for sure. But, yeah, uh, you know, it was it, – it, this cop was just totally out of control uh, and uh, it's just a horrible situation. Erod, right thank you for calling with the thoughts thank tonight. You. As always, I appreciate it. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. And a lot of people are expressing a similar level of frustration. It's like, we've got all the evidence. Look at what some of these guys are doing. And what really ultimately happens? In most of the cases, nothing. In most of the cases, even the most egregious video results in police in sometimes sometimes getting uh, promotions and getting awards and things like that. Uh, so, yeah, we've got video. It's pretty clear that there's a problem, but, you know, what do you do about it? And I like Derek J's solution of, well, get more video and move to a, a safer place where the police behave better, but it's hard to find places where the po- police behave better, better, it seems. Well, here are some other uh, things that you can do. Stay calm and be a good example. So, you know, if you're seeing... Um, People engaging in violence, you know, when back away from that situation or uh, try and de-escalate, um, you know, there are like hand signals, like putting your hands <laughs> down mm-hmm. and, and waving to like de-escalate a situation. No, I think those are a couple of good ideas well, if you live in a place where violence is happening. Ideally, police. we would have no state and have competing protection services that you could then pull your money from. It's a right. long ways away, though. It's a long way You're away. ways but, off from that. You know, maybe people who are really fed up with this should consider not paying property tax and, you know, out of protest. Oh, great. And invite more harm on themselves. Well, there's that. I mean, if there were enough of them. Right, Derek J., if there were enough people, like there's more of us than there are of them. They can only raid so many of us. It's Free Talk Live. More on the way. Are your Google search results killing you? Unflattering content in blogs, news articles, online reviews, social media, or other sources can jeopardize your reputation, your business, and your livelihood. Let Reputation.com help. Our patented technology will make the truth about you more visible while pushing down unwanted negative content. Improve your Google search results. Call Reputation.com at 1-800-831-0771 for a free consultation. That's 800-831-0771. 
If you owe $10,000 or more to the IRS or state in back taxes, you know they'll never stop coming after you. With bank levies, wage garnishments, they'll even seize your home or business. The good news? A government program for tax debt forgiveness. It's called the Fresh Start Initiative. I'm Paul Sibley with U.S. Tax Shield. We can help navigate the new laws, get you protected, and resolve your tax issues permanently. Call the experts at U.S. Tax Shield now for your free consultation and get a guaranteed quote to resolve your case. Call 800-436-6451. That's 800-436-6451. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. You can help by joining the AMP program for just $5 a month at amp.freetalklive.com and getting perks. That's amp.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold. Or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. Are you looking for an excuse to come check out New Hampshire this fall? You're invited to Keenvention. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keene, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year's keynote speeches and panels will be announced via the Keenvention blog and Facebook, so stay tuned there for the latest. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keene for Keenvention this October 30th through November 1st. Tickets are available now at a special early bird price of just $50 via credit card or Bitcoin. That $50 price only lasts through the end of June, so don't delay. Reserve your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Visit Keenvention.info for more and look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. Free Talk Live. You may join us here on the radio waves at 855-450-FREE, 855-450-3733 with you in studio. It's Ian here. Derek J. And Mark. And still to come, we'll finish up the propagandist piece about DMT that we started at the very beginning of the show. Also, uh, a woman from New Jersey is now dead because the bureaucrats didn't get her permit to her for her gun quickly enough. Uh, we can talk more about that. Plus, we also had a gentleman call about the security or the, uh, the the maximum security prison, supposedly, from which two men have escaped in New York State. And I actually have an article from the New York Times because the big question when a prison escape happens is, well, how'd they pull it off? And uh, there's an article over at the Times about that. I want to share that uh, as we continue here. But Mark. Where can people go outside of the United States to have an interesting experience? Well, I'd, I'd recommend checking out Fort Galt at fortgalt.com. What it is is it's a project to collect um, some, you know, some small business people, some freelancers, young professionals, um, you know, and their families together in an area. 
where, um, you know, one spot, they're going to have build this little complex of buildings, uh, really similar to uh, an apartment complex or condominium complex. They're going to have very small units and lots of common areas. And the idea is to increase collaboration among the people that are there um, with the intention of creating a synergy above what the individuals themselves can create um, with something bigger and better. And I think it's going to be a really interesting project. Even if you just want a bug out space um, outside of the United States, this is the, probably the best option for that because they've got units as low as $10,000 a piece and you don't need all the money up front. Um, they they ask for it in pieces as they build. Um, they, they just want a commitment that you're going to be in. So they'll they just ask for money as they build. And it's uh, fantastic. As a matter of fact, you can rent out the unit to people who might be traveling through or whatever when you're not staying there. FortGalt.com. Galt is spelled G-A-L-T, as in John Galt from uh, Atlas Shrugged. FortGalt.com. All right, toll-free number tonight, 855-450-FREE. Two inmates made a daring and cinematic escape over the weekend from Clinton Correctional Facility, the upstate prison known as Little Serbi uh, Siberia. That's not a good name for a prison. Somehow obtaining the, because uh, Siberian prison is the notorious place where they kept the girls from Pussy Riot, mm -hmm. uh, the Boston, or Boston, the Russian band who was arrested for playing in the uh, the Orthodox Cathedral and punished for two years of imprisonment for that uh, particular event. And we read an article about the Siberian prison in question. The women's prison was absolutely horrifying. Uh, so they call this place Little Siberia. And somehow these men obtained the power tools necessary to carve their way out of steel cells and into a large pipe leading to a street outside. The account below is based on statements from the New York State Governor's Office and police officials. First... The inmates, and there are photos to go along with this. We'll post this to our Facebook and Twitter, and you can see for yourself. First, the inmates cut neat rectangular holes in the steel at the backs of their cells. They fashioned dummies from uh, sweatshirts and stuffed their bed to thwart discovery during regular cell checks by guards. The inmates, both serving long terms for vicious murders, had adjoining cells. The rectangular holes can be seen in both walls from the catwalk, behind the cells. Once so that means that the security guards who are supposed to be doing the patrols weren't coming into the cells and, and looking around. Like, they, this happened when I was in jail because I got in trouble for having pictures hanging up on my wall. Oh, yep. you can't hang up any pictures. That's you're right. in trouble. So these security guards weren't even doing so much as, like, looking around or going inside these cells. Isn't that what happens? Like, at least once a month, they well, turn the cells, right? They flip everything upside yeah, but down. Not, this, that's not the, the the issue particularly, right? I mean, this is... If you turn a cell over, you're going to see the, the, the big gaping square hole. cut in the wall or something <laughs> oh, suspicious. Okay. Well, what often will happen... Before. What will often happen is, is an inmate, um, you know, has if they've, they've been there for a long time, we're not talking about county jails here, we're yep. talking about prison, is, is an inmate will get a reputation with the guards, and if they're not trouble causers, they're unlikely to have they're their... Suspicious. Uh, yeah, they're, they're not going to have their cell thrown, because... They've got. They can only throw so many cells. They only intend to throw so many, mm -hmm. so they don't uh, do. They don't do them all. Yeah, well, that's why I'm thinking. You know, these bureaucrats were probably dropping the ball. I mean, this is a maximum security prison, and you would think they would do things like that, but it's easier to do nothing, Derek J. So I would guess they probably <laughs> did nothing in this case. Someone else checked it last week. I mean, how long did it take them to make these cuts? Uh, apparently they did have the tools to do it. And what kind of noise does that make, by the way? I mean, how, uh, I mean, I know when Jails I Jails are noisy, though. Yeah. You could do a lot of stuff and no one's going to hear true. it. With all the shouting of the prisoners. A rhythmic uh, cutting sound? I would think that that's, uh, I don't know. That's it was, crazy. It could be an air vent or something. So they cut through the holes, of, they, they cut holes through the walls in their cells, both of them. Mm-hmm. And then they went into some sort of a walkway. There's like a, a maintenance space behind the walls of the cells that they were able to then go into. Once inside the mechanical corridors of the prison, the men broke through a brick wall, made their way to a 24-inch drain pipe, and cut a hole in it. Wait a minute. That They sort of jumped over that part pretty quick. I, they, they broke through a brick wall? Well, they went through this other wall. They got power tools. I mean... 
If you can go through steel, you can go through brick, right? What are these people? The Incredible Hulk? I mean, what power tools I, are they using? I don't know. I, it looks I, like a, a very powerful reciprocating saw is what it looks like. It might be, it'd be one of those uh, rotating cutters. Those. And where do you plug this in? <laughs> in your cell. Operated. Could it be battery operated? I mean, how could that be? It would run out of juice. Yeah, it would run out of juice. I don't know. I can't really explain that. It, well, oh, well, you know, in some prisons, they can have TVs and yeah. stuff. So I would imagine... If but it's they, one of those kinds, they've probably got outlets, too. Do they? Do they actually give you access to outlets like yeah, that? Yeah, murderers like this, they've got long sentences. You know, they get cozy back there in their cells. What about you, got Bart, TVs. You in prison. Did you, uh, did you have outlets in yeah, the cells? Yeah, I had outlets. Wow. Um, okay. the, there you go. For certain circumstances, yeah. Hold yeah, on, I'm sorry. Yeah, but if I'm they sorry. thought you're crazy, they're not going to put you in a cell with outlets because you could jam a fork in it or I something. I guess it's been a little while since I've uh, been there because I actually forgot. We didn't have outlets in the, in the cell. cell. It was pre-outlet. I, I had outlets in um, my canteen where I, I worked. Right. I wouldn't think they would allow an outlet in a cell. There's all kinds of dangerous things that an inmate can do with a pa- with an outlet, right? <laughs> you can <laughs> well, they, start fires and do all They've got light things. switches, which are essentially what outlets are. The yeah, smart convicts would... The would uh, well, you know, they'd open them up with a screwdriver okay. and get the wires out and then hook up their radios and that sort of thing and not right. have to use batteries. So, you know, it was done. And how do you sneak power tools to your room, too? I mean, you put it in your know. clothes? Or- well, they probably, if they worked on the maintenance staff, then they just went to a room with a power tool and left without it. We got searched uh, every time we came back in from You were in jail, man. Yeah. It's an entirely it's a different lot thing. in prison is what you're well, saying? Well, I'm security? saying that these people live there. Yeah. This isn't people who are visiting for 60 days. Um, this okay. is <laughs> these are people I, that live there. I was living there for 60 days, yeah. but uh, you know, 58 days. But nonetheless, uh, they left a taunting note after cutting the 24-inch drain pipe, cutting into a, a hole into that, left a taunting note for the authorities that included a racist caricature. Have a nice day, says the note, with the picture of a smiley face with the buck teeth and what appears to be some sort of an Asian hat. and crawl- like triangle hat. Yeah, and crawled through pipes and tunnels to a manhole about 400 feet outside of the walls of the prison, cutting through a steel lock and chain to open the manhole. The two killers have since disappeared. It was the first escape in the 150-year history of the maximum security prison in Dannemora, New York, the state's largest. On one side of it, which has a 30-foot-high walls, uh, faces Cook Street, part of a state highway between Plattsburgh and the Canadian border. Authorities said on Sunday the men could be anywhere. So there's a little bit more information for you about how they did it. Points for creativity. Why would, do you think they would include the taunting message of have a nice day? Nice handwriting on that, by the way. I don't know. Why not, I guess? Because it's more. it takes up time. Just in and your you're face. trying to escape. I well, mean, they like, probably had already had that prepared. Yeah. I mean, they weren't... Uh, Scrawled that out in advance. Yeah, they did that in advance. It would be my guess. Okay. So, I mean, look, they're murderers. It's probably... Uh, they're probably not so great because of that. Um, but... You got to give credit where credit's due. Congratulations to anybody who can get out of a maximum security prison. And this how was do you not pl- done with a reciprocating saw. Oh, but and how do you plan it when you're in prison? Because those microphones they've got in your room, they could tap you any time. So how, how do you even do- talk about this plan? Yeah, how do you know where you're going to go when you? They get didn't in have the- microphones in my prison. When you get into the drain pipe, how do you know where that's going to come out? I mean, there seems like a lot of question Schematics. marks here. Yeah, did they get schematics somehow? Schematics are escape pl- planning for escape. Yeah. If you have schematics, it's planning for escape. Eight, did they have schematics? It's Free Talk Live. More coming up. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust who will never betray you or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. It is the year 91001 BCE. Witness humanity's origins in Hypercronius, a classic role-playing game for Windows PCs with a story like no other game before. The liberty-oriented experience that is not to be missed. Go to zog.ninja to get your copy of Hypercronius today. Use the code FTL to get $1 off. Hypercronius, zog.ninja, code FTL. We've all heard the news stories. Another shooting. 
and they're getting worse. That's why Infidel Body Armor introduces Infidel Fridays, exclusive 24-hour insider deals to save you money and possibly save your life. Make it a favorite when you log on to InfidelBodyArmor.com. Then be sure to visit each and every Infidel Friday to get special insider pricing, but for 24 hours only. That's InfidelBodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. Did you know some countries are now banning GMO foods? It's true. That's why for quality storable foods, you need ready-made resources. For over 19 years, we've become the name you can trust for thousands of products, like Numana Healthy Food Storage. All Numana storable foods are non-GMO, non-soy, and gluten-free available. Call 800-627-3809 or click ReadyMadeResources.com. Ready-made resources. We don't just sell the products, we live it. Cato University is the Cato Institute's premier educational event of the year. It's being held this year from July the 26th to the 31st at the Cato Institute's state-of-the-art headquarters in Washington, D.C. This annual program brings together outstanding faculty and participants from across the country and often from around the globe, with everyone sharing a commitment to liberty and learning. Cato University is a genuine community, and you can freely share viewpoints, concerns, ideas, questions, and more in an atmosphere of friendship and personal respect. It's a -a one-of-a-kind program for people who don't stop thinking after they got out of school. It's for people who don't want politicians or bureaucrats or officials to do their thinking for them. It's for people who value liberty. You'll learn. You'll be inspired. You'll make new friends. You'll meet great people from around the world. All of the details are spelled out at the Cato website, Cato.org, and they hope to see you there this summer, July the 26th through the 31st in Washington, D.C. Again, details are at Cato.org. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, Buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Radio is the most personal of mediums. I exist right now in your head. If you listen to Free Talk Live regularly, you know me. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations around the U.S. and has been downloaded on every continent around the world. Hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 a month to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, you may join us on the radio waves here, toll free, 855-450-FREE. Whether you want to talk about the prison escape or out-of-control cops, we've been there uh, tonight also. We'll come back around at some point to the story about DMT, a fear-mongering story posted to media, mainstream media uh, here in New Hampshire. Could be uh, similar stories being posted near you as well. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE as we continue here to your calls and thoughts. Jeff is listening in Chicago. Jeff, you're on Free Talk Live. Hello there. Thanks. Uh, Yeah, what do you guys think? Do you think some of the people running our government are worse than these guys that broke out of there? Probably less creative, but, but I mean like worse criminals like the people that run the Federal Reserve, which actually runs the government. And starts wars and gets us. Well, yeah, I mean, the people that are They're responsible for more killings. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's my thought for the day. Okay, Jeff, thanks for the call. I appreciate it. Uh, Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Just something to consider. Yeah, Yeah, I don't know whether I'm prepared to advocate for these guys, uh, you know, to to continue running. Hey, good luck, fellas. I'm not really ready to say that. However, what I would say, I mean, I spent eight and a half years in prison, and I got to say, probably the worst thing about prison is the prisoners. Um, but I, I do understand the sort of desperation that goes on. Both of these guys essentially had life in prison. One was 25 to life. The other one was life without parole. They weren't going to see the outside of prison at all, or if they did, they'd see it at a very late age. When you have a situation like that, and I'm not— I, 
I'm not saying that uh, we should get away, do away with life sentences. I'm just saying that, you know, what do you do? Um, you know, people are going to want to get out of prison when they don't ever have any opportunity to get out. No matter how much they change their lives, no matter how good of a person they are, they're never going to be able to get out. I knew a guy who was in for, he had a 25-year mandatory sentence. He wasn't going to get out ever, even after he did his 25 years. He had done like 22 when I knew him. His name was Tommy, and he ran the dogs. And mm -hmm. that means that he was the, you know, he was well-trusted at the prison. He wasn't going to go anywhere unless he wanted to be released very badly. He was sad he was never going to get out. He did a terrible thing, but he wasn't, you know, he had no oppor no hope. And once you once you take hope away from a person, that's, that's all they've got left. Mm. Did you have an escape story? Oh, yeah. I, when I was at Brevard Correctional Institution, a man named Jeremy Fayok escaped. Do you um, know him? Yeah, I did. I, I rel knew him relatively well. He was just kind of a, a sort of a sne uh, slimy, weaselly character. Is this the guy that ended up at his that went to his girlfriend's house? Afterwards? They always do. <laughs> um, <laughs> Where else are you going to go? Well, uh, Mexico. Across the border. <laughs> yeah. Um, Okay, so yeah, what he did was uh, when I was at Brevard Correctional Institution, he worked at the um, the machine shop, and the machine shop was in a building that was alongside the perimeter of the fence. Mm -hmm. He skipped uh, count. Everybody was supposed to go back to their room yeah. for count, like they do every other day, and everybody goes to their room. They all get counted, and then we can all get up twenty minutes later. Unless there's a miscount. So, you know, I'm up there doing my job, which requires me to be up uh, front uh, in the, the staff area during the count uh, procedure. Mm -hmm. And it starts to get weird. You can tell that they've, they're missing, you know, like that we missed somebody and then we've missed them again. And we don't know where this person is. And sometimes that, uh, you know, they, they get very desperate. They have one job, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and when they don't do that one job, you can begin to see them mill about in desperation. They know it's bad. They're freaking out. Okay. Yeah. They're freaking out. And what he had done was he had welded a piece of angle iron. I think it was like a large piece of angle iron onto the metal roll, d roll down door mm. that went to freedom, right? There you are, just fractions of an inch from freedom when you're touching this door. I touched it, actually, one time when I went into this shop just to say, I'm this close to freedom. Yeah. Um, wow. And before he had done this to the door. And then uh, he – so he welded this on, and then he got a jack. Um, uh -huh. This is the machine shop, and he got a, one of these powerful hydraulic jacks. He jacked that – the middle of the door up seven and a half inches. It's not very high. That's about the width of your head. Yeah. As um, you say, you could barely fit your head through that. The, the kid weighed 130 pounds. He was 18 years old. He had 25 years for stealing cars. Mm -hmm. He had never harmed anyone from a um, you know the standpoint of uh, – Wow. You know, a crime. I don't know. If, I'm sure he'd harm somebody because everybody's harmed somebody in, in their life. But uh, he had never been convicted of it. This was all like he had been a habitual offender by 18. And I mm. feel like there's something wrong with that. He just hasn't really had a chance to even get undone. So, so what anyway, was the thing that he welded on the door? Did that stop it from closing all the way or something? The latching? angle iron gave him an opportunity to have something to jack up. Ah, I see. It gave him the space. No, it was. It gave him the thing to jack up, like the the thing that he could get the jack up underneath. So he jacked. Yeah. He welded the angle iron on, then jacked the ang uh, from underneath the angle iron. He jacked uh, up oh, the door. Oh, I see what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And these welds are very, very strong. They're supposedly stronger than the metal itself. Okay. This is what my friend the welder said. Uh, it's hard for me to believe, but okay. And so he. Jacked that door up seven and a half, half inches, slipped out, stole three cars on his way to Ocala over the wow. course of a week. Did he make it? Well, to his I mean, what, house. what do you think? He made, he made it to his girlfriend's house a week later. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, he got away initially if he would. So he even had a car with which he could have Several. Somewhere well, I don't else. get it. Why are you guys so down on the girlfriend's place? Is, does she squeal or something? Does she, she say, hey, it's my the first place you get looked for? Okay. okay, they're gonna go to if, your mom's house. Right, they're gonna go to your girlfriend's house. Yes, that's where you. That's where they go. He caught. I think it was at her work that they caught okay. him. But you know, he should have. He should have. He had plenty of time to get south of the border if that's what he wanted to do. Yeah, and that's frankly you what know, he should have done. All this careful planning about how am I gonna escape? You'd think they put an ounce of thought into what so do what I do then? after that? <laughs> well, this now kid, I'm free. Uh, what do I do? He, by the way, this was another desperation situation. They had taken away his uh, his credits, his, uh, his uh, good, good time. time good time credits because uh, they had changed the rules on habitual offenders. I remember when it happened in 1995, and so this kid who expected to go home in relatively short order had his sentence effectively doubled, and he just couldn't handle it. Um, you know, I, I get it.
I know it, it must, it's got to be, it's terrible because you're just sitting there waiting for the day that they're going to let you go. Mm-hmm. And when you, when that day seems like it's getting farther and farther instead of closer and closer, eh, it's, it's a bad feeling. Let's go to George. He's in Hollywood Hills. George, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian, Derek, Jay, and Mark. Hi, how are you guys today? Whoa. George, uh, you're, we're good. You're a little loud, but go ahead. Okay, I'm going to talk softer. All right, thank um, you. Basically, uh, when I was a little kid, uh, I just remember the first stories my dad told me about being in the Russian army and then being captured by the Germans and then how he escaped from the different camps. I thought it was real interesting. Yeah, it he, is uh, real interesting. The first time he escaped from the Germans, he was an artillery fighter for a division of like 300 men in the Russian army. So he's captured by the Germans after about a year and a half. And uh, he plays chess with the commandant and gets special privileges outside the camp and then kills the two guards and escapes. Whoa. That was okay. The, the second time, um, he was swimming across a lake that somehow if he got across this lake, that was the border, and he had one other person with him. Now, I don't know how he got out of the camp to get in this lake. But he's swimming across the lake, and the German U-boats come up and put the lights on him. So both of them go down into the water and are swimming away. Well, the other guy wasn't as good a swimmer. So he came up in the light and was machine gunned to death. Uh. My dad, when he came up, had the wherewithal to say in German, I surrender. And that's why he lived. Wow. So he was brought back to the camp again? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But you never say you escaped. You always say it was the first time. You never, ever divulge because that was it. They just kill you. Right. I was wondering how they didn't, why they didn't kill a guy that uh, killed two guards on their way out. Just, you know, I'm not taking this guy back to the camp. Let's kill him. When captured the second time, they don't know. They think it's the first time. I see. No, I think about it. The place was in chaos. It was World War II. Oh, I get it. So, yeah, that was kind of interesting. And then the only other thing that happened in between those two events. He was interviewed by the like the psychiatrist, and it, it turned out this guy was actually Russian, but he was working for the Germans in this camp. And he interviewed my father, probably because there were so many Russian prisoners, and they had infiltrated Russia way back. So they interviewed my dad, this one guy, this psychiatrist, and he liked my dad and transferred him from the camp the next day. Well, everybody was killed that next day wow. because the psychiatrist liked my dad. He was transferred out of the camp. Why was everybody killed the next day? Because it was the day when they did all the exterminations. He was in one of those camps. Oh, man. And so this was a camp. This this camp was like the Germans knew the Russians were coming, so let's just kill all the prisoners kind of thing? Oh, no, 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 no. This was regular protocol. Okay. This went on all the time in certain sequence, whether it was like every three months or every six months. They get a certain amount of people in there, and then mass quantities of them were killed, and if the psychiatrist, because this is how I learned this, my dad told me, that he happened to like my dad, they were interviewing some of the people that were going to be exterminated the next day, and the guy decided he liked my dad and transferred him from the camp the next day. George, thanks for your call tonight. Appreciate the story. Be likable in jail. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. That's how I approach jail, as I you know, I didn't feel like my beef was with the guards. They were just, you know, doing their job. It was the people who put me there that would, was who I was ups, most upset about, if I was going to be upset. And I tried to keep a, uh, as much of a positive outlook as I could. More coming up. <sighs> What's the matter, honey? Can't sleep? Ugh, it's this heartburn. At night, it's the worst. Heartburn? Again? Yeah, I'm done with it. I'm going to kick acid with Rolaids. Unlike Tums, new Rolaids Advanced goes to work instantly for combined powerful relief of your worst symptoms of heartburn, bloating, and gas. Feeling better? Much better. That was fast. Mm-hmm. Kick acid and gas with new Rolaids Advanced. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. 
if there was a place that liberty-minded people had been elected to political positions and were rolling back government, would you move there? If freedom lovers had secured a 20% voting block and can veto most bad bills, would you move? Well, the time has come to sign the pledge at freestateproject.org. These things have happened in New Hampshire, and you can join us and help. freestateproject.org. Sign up now at freestateproject.org. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Monday, June 8th, 2015. Silver is trading at $16.03 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,173 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $227. Antiwar.com reports medical officials from the Yemeni capital city of Sana'a reported at least 45 people killed yesterday, including 20 civilians, when Saudi Arabia attacked the Yemeni army headquarters with a series of airstrikes. Over 100 others were reported wounded. Locals reported four separate airstrikes against the area around the army headquarters, which is in the middle of a residential district in Sana'a. Several civilian buildings were destroyed over the course of the strikes, along with the army headquarters. Saudi officials presented these latest attacks as retaliation for a pair of Scud B missiles fired at them by the Shiite Houthis. The missiles were shot down by Patriot missile batteries, and no casualties were reported. This is, however, the latest in a long series of Saudi airstrikes against Yemeni cities, many of them focusing on military infrastructure in or near near residential areas. Hundreds of Yemeni civilians have been killed over the course of the nearly two-month-long war. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. UPI reports Saudi Arabia's Supreme Court on Sunday upheld the sentence of blogger Raif Badawi to 1,000 lashes and 10 years of imprisonment. Badawi was arrested in 2012 for cybercrime and insulting Islam through electronic channels through his website Liberal Saudi Network. He was sentenced in May of 2014. Amnesty International said in a statement, 20 weeks of agony, 10 years of imprisonment. This is the painful price of criticizing religious authorities in Saudi Arabia. Rafe's so-called crime was violating Saudi Arabia's informational technology law and insulting Islam through the creation of a website meant for social and political debate in Saudi Arabia. The prosecution called for him to be tried for apostasy or abandoning his religion, which carries the death penalty. Badawi received the first 50 lashes of his sentence on January 9th and was supposed to receive the remaining 950 lashes in increments of 50 every following Friday, but all floggings were previously postponed for medical reasons. Amnesty International added, flogging violates the absolute prohibition of torture and other cruel, inhuman, and degrading treatment in international law. The U.S. Department of State previously expressed concern about Saudi Arabia's apostasy law, stating it restricts freedom of expression and freedom of religion. You can support FPP Radio by joining the FANS program. FANS help FPP afford to produce more original content. You can join the fans program for as little as $3 per month or any amount of Bitcoin per month thanks to the recurring payment options provided by Coinbase. To learn more or to join the fans program, visit fans.fppradio.com. 
Reuters reports more than 50 lawmakers and Prime Minister David Cameron's Conservative Party launched a campaign to back Britain's exit from the EU unless he can get it to adopt radical reforms, even as U.S. President Barack Obama argued in favor of staying. Cameron, riding high after a surprise outright victory in last month's parliamentary election, wants to claw back power from the European Union before holding a referendum by the end of 2017 on whether Britain should stay or leave. But the formation of the new campaign group, Conservatives for Britain, underlined the challenge he faces within his own party from Eurosceptics who doubt his chances of breaking what they see as a stifling grip of Brussels. Speaking alongside Cameron on the sidelines of a Group of Seven summit in Germany, Obama said, I would note that one of the great values of having the United Kingdom in the European Union is its leadership and strength on a whole host of global challenges. Cameron wants to restrict EU migrants' access to British welfare payments, improve the single market for trading of goods and services, and win safeguards to ensure that countries that don't use the euro, like Britain, are not put at a disadvantage by greater integration among those that do. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Jared Gilchrist was surfing when he was attacked by a shark that took his leg. Thanks for being with us, big guy. Thanks, this is tight. What was going through your mind when you first realized that you were there with a shark all alone in open water? It felt like a total badass. It bent to my leg and started shaking it back and forth, and at that point I just felt, yes, this is sweet. I can't imagine what it would have been like to see the teeth sinking into your leg like that. It was sick. At one point, I just saw my leg just floating there in the water. It was awesome. Okay, we're joined now via satellite by Dr. Brian Caddy. What condition was Jared's leg in when you first saw him? It was in pretty rough shape. Uh, the shark had scissored through the muscle, and it was all just like hanging off the bone. It was, uh, it was nuts. Yeah, I kept touching it. It was slimy as hell. Yeah, totally. It was, uh, it was insane. Well, doctor, how do you deal with something like this? Well, you know, you're never fully prepared for an injury this freaking cool. Uh, you know, we just tried to stop the blood loss, and we took a bunch of photos because it's hysterical to freak out the nurses with gnarly shit like this. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. We invite you to join us here and join us toll free. 855 450 free is the number. That's 855 450 3733. We also have Skype. You can Skype into the show here at username lrn.fm. So, oh, by the way, if you've never done Skype with us before, you have to send a contact request first. Then, once we notice it come in, we'll approve it. And after you're approved, you're good to go to call on Skype anytime you want. And you'll sound a lot better than uh, some of the phone calls that uh, that we get here. Our toll-free number, 855-453-FREE. Ian, Derek, Jay, and Mark in the studio. I want to continue now the story that we started at the very beginning of the show. So uh, this is about DMT. DMT is a short-acting psychoactive compound that, uh, as you were explaining earlier, Derek, Jay, exists in pretty much all living things. Mm -hmm both animals and plants, and DMT can be extracted from those plants, and it can be turned into a, a free base. It can be put onto plant material, MAOI inhibitors that make it more, uh, that supposedly make it last longer. And uh, it's an interesting drug, one that mm -hmm. I've, I've had uh, the opportunity to experience a few times in my life. And I have to say that on the scale of the various different drugs that I have, uh, that I have engaged in, DMT is one of my probably two favorites, I would say. When you say favorite, what do you mean? Saying your favorite drug is a pretty bombastic thing to say. Yeah, so obviously, you know, just be warned. I'm not recommending that people do uh, psychedelic drugs necessarily. I, if you're going to do it, I, I would recommend that you learn about them, not from mainstream media news like this. We're, we'll give you some more of their claims here in a moment. But take the time to go to arrowid.org, E-R-O-W-I-D.org. Read up on this stuff a lot before you actually get into it, whatever it is, whether it's DMT or you name it. So what was your question, Mark? What is it? Or yeah, what, no, what do you mean when you say your favorite, favorite drug? drug? Um, like I just, you know, when <laughs> it's not as it's not my favorite as in I want to use it a lot. OK, this is the other, the other thing we were correcting earlier for some of the misinformation. They're claiming that people are getting hooked on DMT and they're using it more than ever before and. Uh, making it sound like you know somebody's running out to go and get more of this drug after they use it. I've never known anybody like that who's used DMT. It's always a really kind of 
for me at least, kind of a very uh, spiritual experience. I've heard people say that. DMT. Uh, there's a there's a great movie about it called uh, The Spirit Molecule, which is fantastic. That's not a great movie. I'm sorry. You didn't like The Spirit Molecule? Not at all. I Why thought it was not? Horrible. Why? Um, because the people, st- it's non-scientific and the... What do you mean it was non-scientific? They did testing in a hospital environment with injected pure DMT with multiple patients. No, it, because then they didn't... D- give you any scientific data from that like yeah well, there it's are, a movie it's okay. a documentary film yeah no give me some data there it was just anecdotal is people describing yeah. oh, there are lots of colors and it was wavy and then there are like these cut scenes of um test tubes and uh bunsen burners and stuff they're trying to make it look scientific that. I don't remember that from from that movie I've seen it a couple of times I don't remember any bunsen burners or I'll test show you tubes um, okay, I, I hope we're talking about the same movie. I'm here gonna look it up. Make sure it doesn't sound like it to me. I mean, the the uh, was it Rick Doblin uh, who who did those tests? I don't remember off offhand. Yeah, this is uh, the this is the one with um, that uh, famous podcaster, his Joe, name, Joe Rogan. Yeah. Rogan. Yeah, this is the same one. We are talking about the same movie. So wow, I love this movie. I thought it was movie. horrible. They had all these people who had done uh, DMT in a sort of a controlled laboratory environment. And all, that's all you can do is get people's personal experiences yeah. from this. What do you want exactly? What are you looking for? Well, you, I want to know what happens in the brain. I want to know what's actually happening happening chemically. They did, they did study that. And if you look at uh, the book that the author of that study put together i suspect you can get more information about i think that. it's baloney to call it spiritual what's happening is physical and how do you wait wait wait? physical so how can you explain people leaving their body because and- they don't leave their body they have the perception <laughs> that they're leaving their body and well, i'm someone i can say you know i'm not a fiend or whatever yeah. but i've done dmt about 10 times so mm-hmm. i'm experienced and no there's this is a physical have you did you experience okay so i know people could say it feels spiritual or something because it's something that they're not familiar with but wait a minute now when that's not scientific when you've done dmt have you lost yourself have you uh yes okay so you i am gone i am not there it's not me anymore you know it's like i'm just one with the universe okay so you've had that similar experience that some of these other people have had i yes a very similar experience to what is described in the movie i'm just that's not scientific that's not why i want to watch the movie if i want to hear a bunch of people's dmt trips you can read that online that's not a documentary to me that's not a movie that's presenting new information i want to know what's going on in people's brains i want to know about the chemicals you know Give me some facts, not, oh, there were swirly <laughs> colors. It's not a documentary. Well, I mean, it is a documentary because they're documenting what Baloney. happened with these, uh, the with these tests. I mean, by definition, I it's don't a think Derek J is impressed. It's just one that you so didn't enjoy. And that's cool. You know, everybody's got their, their opinions. But, you know, if you want to know It's pretending more, it's something it's not. And I like Joe Rogan, but this is not this is not scientific. If I don't know if they ever claimed that it was scientific. Well, the Bunsen burners and <laughs> scientific equipment around them suggest it is. I'll have to watch it again, man. It's a cause, joke. Because I don't remember that at all. I just remember a bunch of interviews with people and, you know, their experiences. So anyway, you know, I it's an, a very pleasant uh, experience for me. I've never gone so far as you have, Derek J., with it. I, at least I don't feel like I have necessarily, mm-hmm. um, but I have had experiences of just absolute stunning beauty uh, mm-hmm. of, you know, like the, the trees and the plants around me. And uh, I remember one time at uh, the Porcupine Freedom Festival looking at a uh, lot of destruction. There was the, uh, the the pavilion, I guess it was called, that burned down a couple of years ago. And so when we were there for the Porcupine Freedom Festival, it was still burnt down and so there was all this destruction there and i remember looking at it and what would normally be you know kind of a very unattractive thing i could really see kind of the beauty in all of that damage and i guess that's probably where arsonists come from uh, <laughs> but uh, you know i could it was really interesting like looking at the uh, the the flame or the smoke singed destruction mm-hmm. it really looked like like an oil painting it was so stunning like something you'd see in a gallery like an art gallery mm-hmm. and i was really just stricken by this it. is what you've got like i saw a burned building and i thought it was neat because i was high i mean i am so unimpressed yeah, with me, your description it was meaningful i, I mean, get it was, that it was meaningful man yeah, right was, yeah. see this is you were high right no this is my issue with the description part like i want to know chemically what's happening because the the barn looked pretty is not a good yeah. description you know what i mean <laughs> like that could be any drug 
DMT is very different from other drugs that I've done. It's it's substantially different, mm-hmm. but there's no words. There are no words that can describe how different it is or what kind of different world world it is. Well, there are some words that can. I, I agree with you. You, you can. There's, words are too limiting. For I agree that. totally. I mean, with psychedelics in general, that's a that's a true statement, right? Yeah. Whether it's LSD or it's uh, a DMT. Beyond words. Yeah, but there are some things you can say about it, like it's short acting. You know, yes. the amount of time that. Uh, that you're in this trip, this very intense, very different, noticeable trip. This is not like some lightweight thing. This is pretty serious uh, hallucin- hallucination kind of stuff. Uh, you know, not necessarily seeing things that aren't there, but there are some people that have that experience. It just depends on how deep you you go into this. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, what, I guess to be- come back to your question, Mark, one of the reasons why I think this drug is so special is because it's so short. Because you can have what is essentially a very, very trippy experience in a very, very short period of time, and there's very little, if any at all, kind of uh, after effects as far mm-hmm. as, you know, you're not going to be zonked the next day or something like that from from taking this. You know, it's not a long journey or anything like that, although it can feel like it. There was one guy in the movie who said he felt like he had 10,000 years of experience in 10 minutes. Oh, so, yeah. you know, time could certainly distort, I think, while you're in an experience like this. But physically, you're going to be out of it oh, in yeah. 10 or 15 minutes. It does. Uh, one of the ways that I felt uh, time distorted was between heartbeats. It felt like minutes wow. were passing. And I could feel them. I mean, I knew, like, uh-oh, I, my heart better beat again. <laughs> like, And it took minutes, it felt like, for the next beat to come. Wow, wow this sounds this is real, a real endorsement of this thing. Hey, I'm just telling you how different of an experience it is I from your you. regular real, real world experience. <laughs> and I'm not suggesting any, anything spiritual. I'd like to demystify this drug if I can. All right, we'll come back here. Uh, your thoughts are welcome. DMT, if you want to share experience, you can do that, too. 855 450 free and then I, we haven't even gotten back into the propaganda i definitely want to do that here what is it that the mainstream media is saying about dmt the scary drug 855 450 free and again you gotta do research on this stuff airwood.org is a good place to start that and we'll continue with more free talk live here in moments are you suffering with hearing loss are you sick of people constantly complaining that your tv is too loud Are you tired of asking people to speak up? Would you like to hear more clearly, but you don't want to wear a hearing aid that makes you look old? Then you need to try Listen Clear, a life-changing breakthrough precisely designed by top audio engineers to fit your ear almost invisibly. And you can adjust Listen Clear to find the perfect way to hear everything, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. And right now you can try Listen Clear absolutely risk-free with free shipping. We'll even give you free batteries for life. So call now. 1-800-940-5957. Listen Clear is lightweight and completely hassle-free, and it's practically invisible. Call for your 100% risk-free home trial with free shipping and free batteries for life. For free information, call now. 1-800-940-5957. That's 1-800-940-5957. 1-800-940-5957. It's very easy to be a criminal. All you need to burglarize a home is one simple household tool, a pair of scissors. If your home security system can be compromised by a criminal using scissors, then you're making it easy for them. Almost every home security system, even those sold by big name companies, has a weakness. The phone line. You shell out 1500 bucks, get locked into a long-term contract, and think you're safe. But a burglar can destroy your alarm in seconds with one snip. And when a burglar cuts your phone line, you're You're defenseless. defenseless. Simply Safe Home Security is the smarter choice. Built by Harvard engineers, Simply Safe uses a wireless connection to call the cops. Scissors can't cut it, and that means your home stays safe. 24-7 professional monitoring is under $15 a month with no contract. Simply Safe Home Security keeps you safer than the other guys for half the cost. Protect your home with the alarm you can trust. Simply Safe. Go to simplysafedefense.com now for an exclusive 10% offer. That's simplysafedefense.com. Hi, I'm Daryl W. Perry, and I need your help to give away my newest book. Yes, you heard that right. I want to give away my newest book, A Rebel's Journey. The book describes my path to the ideas of liberty, which began as a search for traditional values. I will only give away the book if I reach my fundraising goal of $2,500. But wait! 
there's more. If you donate, not only can you get the ebook and the audiobook for free, but you can get bonus audio content, including interviews with Jeffrey Tucker, Lynn Albrecht, Ben Stone, Gardner Goldsmith, and Stephen Kinsella. Or you can get a signed copy of the paperback book and more. Your donation will serve to replace the profits I would have earned through a more traditional publication of the book. The funds raised will allow me to get the book into the hands of more people and to promote the book to a wider audience. To find out more about the book or to donate, visit arebelsjourney.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Stouffer's, helping bring your family together with wholesome dinner options, even on the busiest of nights. Find dinner table ideas to bring your family together at letsfixdinner.com. To get kids involved in dinnertime conversation, ask specific questions, not broad ones. Instead of what happened today at school, try what was the best thing that happened today. The more specific you are, the more they'll have to say. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and you can dial in toll-free to join us here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And you can join us online as well at freetalklive.com. You want to get on the air with us, you can also do that via Skype at Skype username lrn.fm. Mark, tell me about the latest from Quantum Vibe. Well, Quantum Vibe, the original series, has uh, come to a completion. But um, you can get the last section, Volume 3 of the series. It'll be available from bookstores starting the last day of June. But advanced autograph copies can be purchased from Big Head Press at Porkfest uh, the Wednesday before. This, that's when they'll start being uh, available. I don't imagine they'll last much longer than Wednesday. Um, so that's going to be at the Porcupine Freedom Festival. Stop by Site 27. I will be there to get mine. Quantum Vibe Venus 23, however, is launching. Um, actually, it's launched today. And it's uh, this all-new story is set in the fictional same fictional universes as Quantum Vibe, but it has new characters and some familiar ones. You can check it out. Read the first one, quantumvibe.com. This is their big grand opening, quantumvibe.com. All right, toll-free number tonight, 855-450-FREE. We're going to continue with the prohibitionist Claptrap here in moments, but first, James is listening in Ocala, Florida via iHeartRadio. Hello, James. Hey, how you doing today, guys? Welcome, sir. Um, uh, you, just, are you I, actually listening hey, live I, via iHeartRadio? Because I didn't, uh, what, are you listening via one no, of our stations? No, no, uh, no, what I'm doing is uh, I only can get, uh, I listen to you guys on iHeart, um, you got the highlights, and then I just found y'all guys on, I, on iCloud, or no, Cloud Sound, SoundCloud? SoundCloud, yeah. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I listen to you. I'm a day behind. Okay, lawyers, cool. So you're, you're but, uh, an, uh, sort of an archive listener. Well, go ahead with your thoughts. What did you want to talk about tonight? Cool, cool. Um, hey, I'm with Florida Cop Watch, and I was wondering if I could uh, let everybody know that's listening about an event we have coming up on the 13th. Generally, we don't really do uh, event promotions here because, you know, nobody really – most of the people listening can't go. You know what I mean? Like we're an international right. radio show. Think, yeah. We're heard all around the world, and the average person listening isn't going to be able to attend that. And if we let you, you know, if we let Florida Cop Block call and, and promote their event, then you know Orlando or the, right. you know whatever Georgia Cop Block and South Carolina Cop Block, they're going to want to call and uh, and promote their events. And before you know it, you've got an on-air uh, bulletin board, and that's not really very interesting. Okay. But if you want to generally tell us what you guys are doing. And why that's interesting, that that would be fine. Right. Okay. Um, we uh, Well, right now we're doing our second annual uh, Know Your Rights Summit down in Bradenton. And uh, uh, last last year when we did it, um, I did it with $50 in the back of uh, Denny's restaurant. And this year we're doing it at a big, giant festival. So 
we're kind of growth. The growth that we have is pretty amazing. And yeah, yes, that's cool. What do you? What what kind of um, outreach are you going to be performing at this festival? What's it going to look like to somebody who's attending? Oh well, it has. We're going to have a. It's a music festival also, and we're going to have Jordan Page, and um, I think. Oh, well, I do know Adam Kokesh will be there. Sweet. Um, talking about his uh, freedom book. So. But okay, so is this a festival that's being thrown by Cop Block, or are you guys just like a vendor at so, a larger uh, festival? Well, what we're do- yeah, um, the Manatee County Libertarian Party is putting on the Freedom Festival, and then Florida Cop Watch is doing the Know Your Right Summit and helping out with you know advertising and pushing the uh, Florida Freedom Festival. Wow, I didn't even know there was a Manatee County Libertarian Party. So I guess you know. That's I guess good, that's new. <laughs> good to good to know that they exist and that they're doing uh, outreach events like that. So are you guys just going to be out there like passing out information, or are you going to have like a seminar, or what's the plan? We're going to have we're going to have uh, we have a bunch of speakers coming from different different groups like uh, Law Enforcement Against Prohibition, mm-hmm. Jeff Gray would honor your oath. Um, Adrian Wiley, he was the governor candidate for the Libertarian Party here in Florida last year. We had year. him on the air, or at least I talked to him. I don't know if we had him on the air, but uh, you know, we tried to get him on. I think his uh, schedule was busy or whatever, but I, I kind of liked him. Well, good, yeah, man. He, he, yeah, I was going to say, that's had, great news. He has the Constitution tattooed on his, hand, his arm, so really? the whole thing? He's pretty out there. Or just the Constitution? Uh, just the beginning of it. Okay. Uh, just gotcha. the beginning of the Bill of Rights. All right, so um, I'll let but, you I'll uh, let you plug the event. Where where and when, and uh, where can people go to find out more information? Okay, it's going to be in Bradenton, Florida, at the <laughs> Riverwalk. <laughs> um, <it's, laughs> I'm sorry, yeah, I had to do a <laughs> dueling banjos when you said Bradenton. I well, can't help it. It's where you're from, Mark. It's fair. You can do that, right? <laughs> yeah. Bradenton, um, where? It's where be is on it at? June 13th, Bradenton, Florida, down where, in though? Manatee County. Yeah, June 13th, uh, at the Riverwalk. Okay, got it. Riverwalk. And where does one go yeah, to learn like more about the event? Giant. Website? Uh, you can go to flfloridafestival.com. flfestival.com? Yeah, Florida FL, is it? flfreedomfestival.com. Okay, that was like three different websites. flfreedomfestival.com. flfreedomfestival.com. All right, thanks, James, for the call tonight. Good luck. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. If you'd like to promote your uh, event pro- uh, properly on Free Talk Live, we have very affordable advertising rates, and you can get in touch with Mark at mark at freetalklive.com, and he can help you with that. That's exactly right. Fact, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm at the website. So you're going to be, like, for instance, Mark, you're going to be going out to uh, Freedom Fest coming up in Vegas, which is a b- very big, very successful uh, event. And, you know, people can learn more about that at freedomfest.com. That's coming up in July. And uh, you can join us here at 855-450-FREE. So it's called DMT, says the report over at NH1.com. Some mainstream media report about this. Experts say the problem is skyrocketing here in New Hampshire. And it's this hallucinogenic high that users can't get enough of. Who are these experts? I don't know. The cops, probably. It's more than doubled since experts uh, started (laughs) tracking it back in 2008. And get this. The person getting high on it could be sitting next to you <laughs> right now. Really? You mean if they're smoking from a pipe or something like that? Now, I have heard that people are using DMT and vaporizers, so maybe it is a little getting a little bit easier. <sighs> it's smelly. I don't know how you're going to get around smelly. that. They're yeah. going to be pretty obvious, too, because uh, DMT isn't like uh, some drugs where you can sort of fake your way through it. Uh, this is, from what I understand, <laughs> you are... <sighs> Like, out of this world high. Oh, yeah, Mark? Well, the next line in this article says, Many times, a person can't even tell the user is high. (laughs) That's not true. (laughs) Why? Why is that not true? Uh, There are telltale signs, uh, depending on where a person is in their trip. Like, if they're in a really intense part. Staring. They're probably just sitting there with their eyes closed, yeah, yeah, for the the majority (laughs) of it. And if they're coming out of it enough to walk around, then they're probably lucid enough to speak and interact with other people and stuff. So Yeah, what I would recommend to anyone who wants to check the claims on this article uh, is to search for DMT on YouTube, like a DMT smoking video. I know Adam Kokesh has made multiple DMT mm-hmm. uh, consumption videos, and so if you want to see at least what one guy is like when he's on DMT, uh, you can certainly go and watch that, and I would say Adam Kokesh is definitely not acting as his normal self uh, when he's on DMT in those videos. 
fairly entertaining, but they're a little long. He didn't really like cut them down. I think he wanted to show the the entire yeah. experience. That was more scientific than the spirit molecule. Many of those users, according to studies, are young teen boys. On the busy streets of Manchester, many people haven't heard of it. At least not yet. We asked people, and most of them had no idea what DMT even was. That's because most kids are nowhere near this stuff, and it doesn't have any doesn't have any allure to them. Well, once you start putting it on mainstream media, more people are going to hear about it. Oh, yeah, then they're, they're going to be far start, more interested. Yeah, they're going to start researching. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. There's more on the way about DMT and the claims from this mainstream media piece here in moments, and you can share your thoughts on Free Talk Live. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. Virtually anyone can hack your cell phone and track your calls, your texts, your emails, your every movement, but only if they can detect a signal. Stay one step ahead of hackers and Big Brother with a Block It Pocket, a custom-made pocket infused with pure silver that creates a complete Faraday enclosure for your cell phone. For free shipping to the lower 48, visit BlockItPocket.com or call 888-315-9618, BlockItPocket.com, enhancing health and privacy. It's The Onion Radio News. The nation's last remaining themeless restaurant has closed. This is Doyle Redland reporting. A once vibrant era came to an end today when Pat's Place, the nation's last themeless restaurant, closed its doors in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. During the heyday of themeless restaurants, Pat's Place achieved a certain amount of notoriety for its unique non-themed food items and unadorned atmosphere. But according to owner Patrick Baines, the times have changed. Lately, we've had only a handful of people coming in to gawk at our posterless walls and mundanely named menu items like hamburgers or pancakes. And then they go someplace like the Rainforest Cafe or Johnny Rockets to actually eat. Plans are now in the works to convert the Pat's Place location into Cedar Rapids' seventh patio touchdown sports bar and good time internet grill. Doyle Redland for The Onion Radio News, online at theonion.com. This is The Onion News Network. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. RATS is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. RATS was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. RATS is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download RATS free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keen. Keen is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. It's 
Free Talk Live. You're invited to join us here toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And Spend Bitcoins is for sale. The website, the the whole thing, right? The, the business itself is not just the URL. Uh, is that right, Mark? That's right. Okay. Spend Bitcoins, one of the oldest and largest Bitcoin merchant directories, is for sale. Over 100,000 Bitcoin accepting merchants are listed there. At least, well, there's some controversy between 100. You said, Der, uh, Derek J., you went to their site. And it said 100,000. 100, and it said yeah. 100,000. Okay. And it has had over 3 million page views since inception. It's number one on Google for search terms like, where can I spend Bitcoins? So this is a pretty valuable URL. And it's for sale. It's in an open auction right now at spendbitcoins.com slash sale. Sell Bitcoin, sell ads, sell premium listings. The world is your oyster with spendbitcoins.com. Yeah, again, you can go to spendbitcoins.com slash sale to place your bid as we continue here with a propaganda piece from nh1.com. Uh, the story is about DMT, and the claim is that the problem is skyrocketing here in New Hampshire in this hallucinogenic, uh, hallucinogenic high that users can't get enough of. What problem? Are, are there people going to jail for this right now, or how is this a problem for anyone? They are claiming that more people are using it than previous. They say that it, the use has more than doubled since experts started tracking it back in 2008, which could mean the arrests have more than doubled. I don't okay. know if that means that usage has more than doubled. They uh, said they went on the streets, they asked people, and they didn't know what DMT was. Even though it's been around the country for the last few years, late last month, police were called to a Lake Avenue apartment in the Queen City. Federal state, that's Manchester, by the way. Federal state and local police evacuated the building for a so-called DMT lab. Police took at least one man into custody and several others to the hospital for possible exposure to the drug. Melissa Fernald, a drug and alcohol counselor out of Wolfboro, says a major concern is authorities don't know what manufacturers of the drug are cutting it with. Well, from what I've seen, DMT is typically available in a freebase form, and I'm not an expert on uh, how these drugs are manufactured, but is freebase product normally cut with something? I don't know. Because the idea behind freebase product, at least with uh, crack cocaine, for instance, it's a freebase version of cocaine. Uh, the idea behind a freebase version of crack is that you're compressing the cocaine. You're concentrating the cocaine into sort of a more potent uh, product. Mm -hmm. So it really wouldn't make much sense to cut that product with something. But again, I could be wrong about this. I'm not a drug manufacturer. I, I don't know. I've not done that level of research into well, it. If, if you know. Neither is the person who's writing the article. Yeah. I mean, they, they seem to be ignorant <laughs> yeah. just of just about everything. So I don't feel like I'm learning more by re reading this article other than there's a drug called yeah. DMT, which I knew. So if you know more about it, feel free to uh, let me know. But I've never heard of any concern that anyone has ever had for DMT being cut with anything at all. I've, no, never, I've never heard that. Never heard of it. Uh, police see here it's very dangerous says the drug and alcohol feel, counselor. Wait, wait a minute i feel like you would also notice too um I, i've only experienced dmt in uh, crystal form i'm sure there are other forms that it would be form. more difficult um to tell but if something else were in there it would be obvious um because of its qualities because of it you know it's like, right i don't know the drug is similar to LSD, they claim, which is a ridiculous claim. Uh, I'm sorry. Well, it it's, only similar in that it's, a, it's only similar in that it's a psychedelic, right? Like, yeah. um, my experience 12 hour LSD, trip versus a 15 minute trip. Yeah. Big I, difference. LSD is a long experience for people. And when an LSD trip goes bad, you're not coming out of it for hours. Right? I mean, it, I, hopefully well, it won't go unless bad unless you've for got you, some good friends who can keep your direction good or something like that. I understand that. that. But, you know, if you go into it's, bad it's trip hours mode, long. It could be a very bad time with yeah. LSD, and yeah. whereas at the very least with DMT, you're going to be done in 10 minutes, 15 minutes max. Yeah. And then after that, Rides you, know, over. you can go back to work. Yeah. Uh, so I find LSD to be a far more frightening drug in that way, yes. It, it can be mixed. Now, you want to talk about um, you know dosages. There is a lot of fake LSD out there. That much is certainly true. Mm -hmm. uh, it can be mixed with household products, they claim, and dried into a powdery substance and is known for causing blackouts. On the street, it's known as Fantasia, or a businessman's trip. I can't say I've heard Fantasia before, but I can understand why they would call it mm -hmm. the businessman's trip. Because the reason, they say, users can often get a quick high and then head right back to work or whatever they were doing. Users, I, I could understand why they call it Fantasia, too, with all the colors. Mm. And 
Users smoke it, vaporize it, or use it intravenously. Now, I've what? never heard outside of a laboratory environment of no. anyone shooting up DMT. It sounds very dangerous. It sounds incredibly dangerous. Yeah, I've never heard of it either. That you, the, the needle, uh, in my pr- prediction, I've never seen anyone do this, but it would it tear it up would your tell insides. Me, yeah, no, the, the needle would stay in your veins because while yeah. you're injecting it, you'll get high and you'll not be able to move anymore. So it's like, what, are you going to fall over with the needle in your arm? That's, I don't think so. That super dangerous. I yeah. mean, that's, that's not to say... Some drug addicts won't do super dangerous things, but again, I've never heard of this except in the situation with a hospital where they're actually testing it in a controlled laboratory environment. They were using IV DMT in that instance, but to just say users can do it intravenously, okay, well, it's possible to do it that way. It's very unlikely that that's going to happen. So it's total, you know, propaganda here. So, I mean, we know it's propaganda. Why does it matter to talk about this? I mean, you know, people, reporters put out propaganda about uh, drugs they're not familiar with all well, the time. I was amused by the attitude of the uh, the piece. I think it's uh-huh. interesting to dissect a piece of lying, misinforming propaganda like this that is simply designed to stir up fear about this particular product, which I think is one of the most amazing uh, psychedelic drugs that I've ever experienced going on here. It might be a good high, they say here at NH1.com, but when people make it, once again, the problem is one wrong move, and it could cause an explosion. What? (laughs) Okay, I'll admit, I don't know anything about manufacturing of DMT, DMT, but I do know that the the processes I have heard about are very natural sounding, like extracting it, uh, you know, the uh, ayahuasca trips down in Mm -hmm. South America, there's these Indians who will cook up like a cauldron full of uh, you know different kind of roots or whatever there's certain pro- certain plants that have a higher concentration of DMT than others it appears in everything that lives basically and then they extract the DMT uh, with an MAOI inhibitor usually I think and then they uh, will you know essentially brew up a tea this is not an explosive process there are yeah. people hanging out around a campfire uh, throughout this you know Having a good time. Yeah. Again, citation needed. I mean, if there are explosions happening, surely there will be evidence of that, right? Aren't there some links to where these uh, DMT, where the DMT explosions labs have are blown happening? up? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, with the injection, uh, with the intravenous uh, comment and the explosions comment, this does sound very much like some kind of either uh, either it's intentional a hack job. Yeah. Uh, there's uh, here's the uh, drug and alcohol counselor, or oh no, excuse me, this is not the drug and alcohol counselor. This is the one quote. From a psychedelics advocate, Dr. Michelle Ross, quote, I started off seeing shapes, and then there were cats, and then I fell out of space and ended up at the Last Supper in Heaven. And that's the only quote given from anybody at all who might support DMT. Did you have some experience similar to that? Uh, No, I I did not, personally. You didn't go to heaven. (laughs) Uh, Fernald says this is, now Fernald is uh, Melissa Fernald, the drug and alcohol counselor. She says, when asked if it's on the radar of police or law enforcement, she says, it should be. Adding that she's <laughs> fearful she'll see more of it hit the streets. So, there you go. There you go. DMT. Are you scared now? 855-450 free. <laughs> Doug is in Chicago. And you're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Doug. Hey, um, I want to bring up uh, an article here from the New Yorker. Um, they had been emailed to me about a gentleman named uh, Caleb Broder. Kaylee K- Broder. Did you hear about that? Is this no. the guy that killed himself? At Rikers? Yeah, yeah. Oh. He had been locked up for more than a three-year period without a trial. Yeah, for stealing a backpack, um, supposedly. Yeah, every indication can be that he didn't do the crime. And I think it can be important for the fact that she has everybody. And, I mean, I'm a humanitarian. I'm, you know, uh, an overall good guy. But, you know, when you talk about a pile of garbage politician like Bo, like Bo Biden getting a brain tumor and everybody weeping over him. Mm. You know, I mean, that that had been a horrible man. He backed the death penalty time after time to try and get people to vote for him. You know, he wanted to make a run for governor. He had been a typical politician looking for power and wealth. Stand by, Doug. I want to talk more about Khalif. I actually had the story in my show prep here tonight, and we can continue here in moments. Apparently, he actually killed himself after getting out of this prison. Minor story. Really? That's my understanding. Maybe I mis- misread it, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. 855-450 free. This is Free Talk Live. Yeah, he was at home. In a trial by jury, the primary function of a juror is not to dispense punishment to the accused. It is to protect your fellow citizens from being unjustly deprived of their life, liberty, or property. As a juror, you can say no to unjust laws and prevent government abuses of power by refusing to convict. 
legislative, executive, judicial. The fourth branch of government is we the people. Find out more from the fully informed jury association at FIJA.org. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phones, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. By now you know that wireless technology like cell phones do in fact pose dangers to the health and privacy of everyone. Blockit Pocket's wide range of products are unmatched in providing the protection you deserve. No scare tactics, just common sense. BlockitPocket.com offers quality American-made options to alleviate and eliminate these invisible dangers. Learn more at BlockitPocket.com or call 888-315-9618. BlockitPocket.com, enhancing health and privacy. We've all heard the news stories, another shooting, and they're getting worse. That's why Infidel Body Armor introduces Infidel Fridays, exclusive 24-hour insider deals to save you money and possibly save your life. Make it a favorite when you log on to InfidelBodyArmor.com. Then be sure to visit each and every Infidel Friday to get special insider pricing, but for 24 hours only. That's InfidelBodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate. Oof, I think we've all had enough of that jingle, don't you? If you're going to invest in property in New Hampshire, it just makes sense to support a liberty-friendly realtor. Call Mark Warden of Team Porcupine Real Estate for investment property or rentals in the free state. Or visit his website. Come on, you know it. PorcupineRealEstate.com you can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, you can join us here in the remaining moments. We've got time for you. If you dial in right now, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We've got Skype as well. Uh, Skype username tonight, lrn.fm. Joining you, it's Ian here. Derek J. And Mark. And don't forget, Free Talk Live is brought to you by Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. You can go to victimlesscrimespree.com and you can watch Derek J get arrested five times in a one-year time frame. I go to jail in the movie as well. And uh, it's a Everybody quite, goes to jail. It's quite an entertaining film. I recommend it. Uh, that's victimlesscrimespree.com. As we go to Doug in Chicago, who is telling us about a young man who was in jail in Rikers Island. I've got the story over at TheGuardian.com. He has now killed himself after spending nearly three years imprisoned without trial. Is that right, Doug? 
Yeah, without trial. I mean, I didn't get to read the entire thing. I read the majority of it. Um, I haven't had time. I'm going to go through back and read it again tonight. But I find it ironic that, you know, people worship a politician. They look at him being like or a bureaucrat, and they look at him being like wonderful. How you know, it, it reminded me when Bo Biden died a little bit of like Kim Jong Il in North Korea. You know, the people mm-hmm. worshiping him and oh, oh, oh God, how terrible. Here had been a man who had been attorney general for Delaware and advocated keeping the death penalty when it became aware that they were convicting people who were wrongly convicted. You know what I mean? They, the death penalty should never be on the table, knowing what we know now about the government and the mm-hmm. way that they operate. Well, you got to be tough you know? on crime, Doug. Well, you do. For, for the fact that you have to be tough on crime in order to look good for the people, that way you can maybe get elected to governor like he had been looking to do. Mm-hmm. You know, I, they, they play the people. They do it for their own power, their own gain. And then when you have a bad thing happen, the people are like the American people being the sheep that they are, are like, oh, you know, oh, how horrible that he died. Well, you know what? You should probably be more worried about your fellow American being locked up without a trial or being beat by a cop or, you know, all the other crap that you now have the government pull. You know, that should be what people should be worried about. Well, we've had the death penalty for thousands of years, and it hasn't deterred people from killing yet. So as far as the argument for it being a deterrent, it seems uh, seems to be pretty specious. Doug, thanks for right. your, your call tonight, man. I, I do appreciate hearing from you. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. This young man, uh, you know, there's a just a terrible story here about him being imprisoned here for years and then being beaten by inmates and guards in the uh, the prison there's video that has just been released recently by the uh, the system or whatever released in april and the first part of this video i just watched the first 30 seconds of it there is a lone guard a black guy by the way the man in this case is black so the the guy who just killed himself who was in prison for three years is black the black guard in the one of the black guards in the jail opens up his prison door, takes him out as though he's going to be walking him somewhere, and then shoves him about as hard as he can at the railing of uh, what looks like a stairwell, mm. and then proceeds to throw him on the ground and commence uh, harming him at that point. Jeez. Is there uh, any point in injecting rationality into this? I mean, I'm curious as to why. Why would that happen? But is is that just a stupid question? Why would he be attacked by a guard? Yeah. Who knows? Maybe he mouthed off to him or something like that. I mean, who, who knows what these psychopaths are thinking, their rationale for beating a man like this. Uh, they say here that he was starved and not taken to the shower for two weeks at a time. Those were contributing factors to the pain and sadness he had to deal with every day. It sounds like he was being, uh, you know, he was probably a jerk um, in jail. But you got to consider if you were held three years without trial, you might be a jerk too, right? Like you were told that America works in a certain fashion and it didn't for you. Uh, I mean, being a nice guy isn't working. So you got to try other things. I mean, I can't imagine 19, right? That's like when you're sort of going out into the world, becoming an adult and his three years of I'm supposed to be on my own two feet, independent, living free. He experienced in Rikers Island prison. Uh, so it's no wonder that at 22 he decided to take his own life. I mean, doesn't it sort of break you? And yeah. these are the formative years. And from my limited understanding of the, the human brain, it's not even finished developing until 25. So these are these are literally his formative years. This is what he's saying. This is what the world is like as an adult. You think he wants to continue that? There's another video with him being attacked uh, by other prisoners, and there's like two guards here who basically can't do anything about it. There's just so many prisoners who are just going after this kid. I wonder why. Uh, the man's story was a cause célèbre, attracting calls for reform from a high-profile Republican senator and presidential candidate Rand Paul and talk show host Rosie O'Donnell, among others. Uh, among so like this is this his story was well known and he was out of prison. In fact, he was apparently the charges were dropped against him in 2013 after having spent three years in prison for allegedly stealing a backpack. But again, they dropped the charges, so totally innocent apparently of those charges and spent time in prison and now has hung himself in his mother's home. If he did steal a backpack, he should have had his trial within 30 days. Yeah. 
He sh anybody, everybody should get their trial within 30 days. That's what it, you know. That's what speedy trial. That's what that's about. The Constitution provides that for you, and nobody gets it anymore. Who does this? Who's to blame? Who's who's the actor here? You know, who, like where do you point the blame when you say a man killed himself? He was in, put in a horrible situation. Is it the guards' fault? Is it the people who cheer on these prisons? Is it. it the people who the keep system. their heads down? I mean, where? I mean, if if things are going to change, you have to identify where the problem is, right? So to come up with a solution, let's identify the problem. Where is it? Well, there's definitely plenty of problems with the government prisons. I mean, there's no doubt about that. There's huge issues with how those things are run, the inhumanity of it. Uh, the, many, many of these institutions, the people running those prisons are contributing to that inhumanity, especially when there's no consequences for uh, people like guards and others who uh, will engage in this kind of behavior. And I'm not saying there was no consequence for the guard in this case. I don't know. I don't, I don't know the details in that case. But in a lot of cases, they'll get reassigned. They'll get, they won't get fired in, in many of these instances. It's hard to fire somebody who works for the government. Ty is on the line calling from the Inland Empire. Ty, you're on Free Talk Live. Okay, let me shut the speaker off. Thank you. I appreciate it. Are you there? That. Yeah, yes. we got you. Go ahead. Hey, how's it going, guys? Hey, Good. two things. Um, I wanted to tell you a couple of experiences that I've had with the police, and I'm a licensed captain, uh, never been to prison or on parole, completely unjustified uh, harassment. And What's abuses. a licensed captain? Oh, li uh, for like, like a, a boat? boat? Yeah, maritime. Oh, so you get your six-pack license. No, I have my 100-ton and my towing and towing endorsement. But okay, anyway, it. it's irrelevant. The, the point was is like I'm not like a – you know, degenerate criminal parolee kind of guy. Like I have a good job. I have no criminal record whatsoever. Okay. And some, some of my experiences here have been mind blowing to me. And, um, to be honest with you, no BS, no exaggeration. The police in my town have shot and killed more residents in our city than the public of our city has. Do you understand what I mean by that? Then really? really? than other murderers. Yeah. Wow. I believe it. Yeah, I've, I've looked for numbers where this is going on. I haven't seen that in too many places. That's true incredible. here in Keene, New Hampshire. I live in an area that has a very low uh, crime. It has a little bit of petty crime, but we have we don't have the gang troubles or the auto theft or the home invasions. Um, it's a pretty crime-free place. I mean, yeah, there's some drugs and some petty stuff going on, but there's just not that much rapes and murders and things like that. And, you know, it's a fair amount of people, and um, it's just mind-boggling to me that the, our small, tiny police department has shot and killed more residents than our entire population in our town has. Sounds like you got and a gang I, problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do, but they wear badges. But yeah. um, before I, I got into some of my experiences, I wanted to preface by saying that I was kind of disappointed with some of the stuff you were saying. And believe me, I understand from the— perspective that you're a public sort of speaker and you can't be liable because if you said yeah you know we got to be violent and then somebody went and did it then you could get oh no i don't believe in violence I, I mean i'm not bsing you or anything like that i used to and there are old no, no, no. shows where i yeah, no, i, said I, I, like I was just saying that i understand why you have to say that you disavow it and don't condone it but well it's dude, not that i have to say guy. i want to say let let him finish his statement please okay Okay, well, you were the first guy who was just mentioning the Constitution, and our constitutional rights have been trampled. We've been abused. These guys are public servants. They're supposed to protect and serve, <laughs> not, pillage and, not pillage and plunder and abuse. Yeah, but you got it. You, what, what you're missing is they're protecting and serving the government, and that's the code. The, the word public is like a code word for the state. And ultimately, they're it's they're, a fundraiser. Law enforcement is becoming a fundraiser. They have sure. more cops and and more time spent by cops out there writing petty tickets and traffic violations. Oh, yeah. and I'm with you, man. That's why I support CopBlock.org. Ty, thanks for the call. But, We're out of time tonight, but I appreciate hearing from you. Our toll-free number is 855. Wait a minute. Why am I giving that out? We're out of time. Uh, check out Derek J on his website, thederekj.com. There's fresh content there right now. And you can check us out over at freetalklive.com. Subscribe to archives and download the podcast or whatever. We'll see you tomorrow night online in the meantime, freetalklive.com. Thanks for being here. A meme is not easy to define. What is it? But you know it when you see it. Amazing. Don't tread on meme.com proves that. I feel so enlightened. 
Don't Tread on Meme, M-E-M-E, helping you give the finger to our monetary system of deception by providing you with silver dime trading cards. Unlike today's dollar, they have value, and they look neat too. Oh, would you look at those? Aren't those just swell? Don't tread on meme.com. While you're browsing their numerous silver dime card designs, take time to download the easy to use silver calculator app. This simple piece of technology lets you know instantly, whether using iPhone or Android, just how much your silver coin is worth. Find out all the details at don'ttreadonmeme.com. Now accepting Bitcoin. Don't tread on meme, your path to a voluntary society with honest money. Don't tread on meme.com, serving you faster than the Fed prints money. In every age, a technology is created that upends the foundations of society, the wheel, the printing press, the internet. Now, in a world sliding into financial chaos, a new technology is changing the way monetary systems work around the world. It is called Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a new form of money controlled not by banks, governments, or corporations, but through mutual commerce between free individuals. To learn more, visit WeUseCoins.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. The live edition of Liberty Conspiracy is next, after the news, here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Monday, June 8th, 2015. Silver is trading at $16.03 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,173 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $227. Antiwar.com reports medical officials from the Yemeni capital city of Sana'a reported at least 45 people killed yesterday, including 20 civilians, when Saudi Arabia attacked the Yemeni army headquarters with a series of airstrikes. Over 100 others were reported wounded. Locals reported four separate airstrikes against the area around the army headquarters, which is in the middle of a residential district in Sana'a. Several civilian buildings were destroyed over the course of the strikes, along with the army headquarters. Saudi officials presented these latest attacks as retaliation for a pair of Scud B missiles fired at them by the Shiite Houthis. The missiles were shot down by Patriot missile batteries and no casualties were reported. This is, however, the latest in a long series of Saudi airstrikes against Yemeni cities, many of them focusing on military infrastructure in or near residential areas. Hundreds of Yemeni civilians have been killed over the course of the nearly two-month-long war. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. UPI reports Saudi Arabia's Supreme Court on Sunday upheld the sentence of blogger Raif Badawi to 1,000 lashes and 10 years of imprisonment. Badawi was arrested in 2012 for cybercrime and insulting Islam through electronic channels through his website Liberal Saudi Network. He was sentenced in May of 2014. Amnesty International said in a statement, 20 weeks of agony, 10 years of imprisonment. This is the painful price of criticizing religious authorities in Saudi Arabia. Rafe's so-called crime was violating Saudi Arabia's informational technology law and insulting Islam through the creation of a website meant for social and political debate in Saudi Arabia. The prosecution called for him to be tried for apostasy or abandoning his religion, which carries the death penalty. Badawi received the first 50 lashes of his sentence on January 9th and was supposed to receive the remaining 950 lashes in increments of 50 every following Friday, but all floggings were previously 
previously postponed for medical reasons. Amnesty International added, Flogging violates the absolute prohibition of torture and other cruel, inhuman, and degrading treatment in international law. The U.S. Department of State previously expressed concern about Saudi Arabia's apostasy law, stating it restricts freedom of expression and freedom of religion. You can support FPP Radio by joining the Fans Program. Fans help FPP afford to produce more original content. You can join the Fans Program for as little as $3 per month or any amount of Bitcoin per month thanks to the recurring payment options provided by Coinbase. To learn more or to join the Fans Program, visit fans.fppradio.com. Reuters reports more than 50 lawmakers in Prime Minister David Cameron's Conservative Party launched a campaign to back Britain's exit from the EU unless he can get it to adopt radical reforms, even as U.S. President Barack Obama argued in favor of staying. Cameron, riding high after a surprise outright victory in last month's parliamentary election, wants to claw back power from the European Union before holding a referendum by the end of 2017 on whether Britain should stay or leave. But the formation of the new campaign group, Conservatives for Britain, underlined the challenge he faces within his own party from Eurosceptics who doubt his chances of breaking what they see as a stifling grip of Brussels. Speaking alongside Cameron on the sidelines of a Group of Seven summit in Germany, Obama said, I would note that one of the great values of having the United Kingdom in the European Union is its leadership and strength on a whole host of global challenges. Cameron wants to restrict EU migrants' access to British welfare payments, improve the single market for trading of goods and services, and win safeguards to ensure that countries that don't use the euro, like Britain, are not put at a disadvantage by greater integration among those that do. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. A report confirms that many Iraqis are still holding a petty grudge about the U.S. invasion. An advanced alien civilization discovers an uninhabitable planet. And a single woman has a Facebook profile picture with her sister. This is The Onion Week in Review. A groundbreaking study published Monday in the Journal of the American Medical Association confirmed that it is impossible to lose weight. No one has ever done it, and those who are trying should give up immediately. Researchers said that findings conclusively prove that shedding excess weight has never happened, changing your physical appearance is impossible, and that all sorts of exercise personal training regimens and diets will never ever work well our test results conclusively prove that if you're going to the gym to lose weight you will fail you can work out every day and eat nothing and you still wouldn't lose an ounce skinny people will stay skinny overweight people will be overweight that's just how it is in other news an area man is outraged his private information is being collected by someone other than advertisers and a crowd cheers as this 93 year old up finally graduates from college this is the onion news network